it's a little dead meme. It's too existential. I like how Welcome. They had uh, a Mortal Kombat fight in iCarly. They did. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, today, yeah. Fr- when Freddy, when Freddy tore Gibby's larynx out, yeah. <laughs> and shoved it up his anus. Yeah, yeah. That was Freddy, pretty fucking crazy. When Freddy picked up Gibby and he said verbatim "Obama" and he killed him. <laughs> and he killed him. <laughs> Freddy, dude, one of, my favorite, one, of my, one of my favorite. What am I? What am I? favorite? One of my favorite iCarly related stories is that you know the stunt man who, who the, the stunt man who fell uh, and b- smashed all of his ribs. Did you see that? Wait, that was a stunt method. That was actually no, that, Gibby. Does that happen? <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, you think Gibby would do, no? So there was a stunt man for Gibby. There was a scene where like they're 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 all leaving the apartment or something, <laughs> and they're like, y- "Gibby, are you coming?" And then you just hear Gibby scream. Gibby, and then a man falls the entire like uh, like easily like twenty feet down onto the fucking floor. Sm- it's a stuntman, and he smashes all. He broke all of his ribs, and they use the shot in this they show. Used it. <laughs> they still used it. I remember that episode. Like it was I mean, I guess you better use it. I guess he was, they, he was yeah, happy to land on Sam. They didn't he was land on Sam for some reason. Because I was like, he wasn't prank. supposed to land on Sam. The, the, no, and it was supposed to laugh, be what it was. They forgot the timing, and they were like, "Oh, we forgot about Gibby." He's like, "Gibby, you're coming in." It wasn't his belly flop. No, I, mean, I, I, I get I remember the bit. It's verbatim. like, um, oh, right, 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 right yeah, yeah. He belly flopped. I get the and bit. The sound it made was insane. I was like, "Yeah, it was very clearly that guy was hurt, like in a, in a in a myriad of ways." So <laughs> I, I mean, they got that. the shot. Dude, it's a ama- dude. I no wait. Hold on, I have to show it. I have to show this to you because you are go- you are going to fucking you are going to die. I, Give me I, stunt man. Knowing the context is great. The guy fucking dude. It, fucked it's himself so fucking. Up. He probably collapsed his lungs too because like, he probably his, lo- his his fucking ribs like pierced his lungs and shit. Oh, dude, easily, easily. <laughs> uh, so here it is. Here's here's this here's this clip. You guys can look up. It's called Gibby uh, falls from ceiling. <laughs> It's that at it's at it's crazy. at around it's at ten seconds in the video. So you just fast forward to it, dude. It's <laughs> it's the way he hits the crazy. ground is wild. You're like, yo, <laughs> it is so impactful. <laughs> like he 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 reverbs. Like he kind of oh, almost. No. If he wanted to, say, he could have stood straight up if he wanted to. If he had enough extra energy to do that. Oh no! You can even see him writhing a little bit. Dude, that's what's. Like, <laughs> he fell so far. Yeah, it's it's tw- <laughs> it's like a good. That's like a good ten to ten to fifteen feet, man. That Brother, he's fallen from. He bounced on concrete. That's that is. Well, it wasn't con- it was so it it was no. it was like a softer surface. It was it was like a softer surface that was put there for stunt purposes, but it wasn't soft enough. It was like you know what it reminds me of. It reminds me of the the. It, the not the ball pit. pit. Oh my god! At, at TwitchCon, that the phone pit. Crazy. Twi- yeah, we're, we're that's what I'm, broke like, her spine, bro. That's the craziest whatever, thing ever. A little bit of whatever they put on it. That's not not enough. That's not going to absorb enough, a fall from. It's barely going to absorb a fall from three feet. Yeah, hundred like, percent. Yeah, <laughs> dude. The <laughs> fact that he that, bounced, the fact that he splashed up a little bit is crazy. That's to me. incredible. Like show that his bones literally. Sh- <laughs> That's his, a real I mean, showman his, uh, right there. That's what organs, that is. That's a true his showman. His organs, yeah. like, actually s- stretched, and when they came back, gave him a little bit of force to bounce. <laughs> yeah. Uh, poor bastard. Speaking of people, speaking of people hitting the floor too hard, um, <laughs> so we were talking, Chris was talking, uh, was telling me about how bad um, the voice acting of Megan Fox was in the new Mortal in the new Mortal game. In the new Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, I haven't. Kombat. I didn't notice it was that bad. It was that terrible. But for anyone that, that is crazy to me that Mortal you didn't, Kombat ten. You mean eleven? MK eleven. The voice acting of mm. Ronda Rousey was so bad. Like I think so this is just as bad. Genuinely, her like, is it worse? Yeah, but that because I heard. I heard her. I saw her trailer, and I thought like, this is like whatever. You know, because Mortal Kombat has no, no, no not always, the trailer, man. Always, I haven't played. You didn't, you didn't see. Game. You didn't see Endgame, did you? Did you? Did you Not see like yet. one of the clips that is circulating around? Because Not it's the same thing for Ronda. Ronda has a lot of uh, lines in MK11 that are fine. That are just like, oh, this is fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Every interaction there she are had, clips did you, you that were MK11, circulating right? around. Like there's the uh, there's the there's the scene where they're forced to cage fight, 
And then one of the lines that she delivers saying something like, you're going to kill us whether we fight or not. It is the worst delivery. You're going to kill us whether we fight or not. And everyone's Did like, you, wait. The lines? Yeah. Well, they to- used that line. So right after they that, used you know when her and Casey, her and her, um, her, Johnny and, um, and Cassie are, are leaving? And she's about to fight Kano for the like eighth time when she fights a younger Kano. He's like, come here, let's get this over with. And I was just like, this is so bad. What makes it funny is they have that. Then they also have Keith David as Spawn in that game, whose voice is immaculate. Yeah. It's like they Spawn's have a lot voice. of it. I mean, it's like this mix. It's like moments. this mix of amateurs. It's it's like a, they mix up amateurs with like fucking brilliant voice actors, and it's and it becomes even more jarring for the amateurs. Which is yeah, insane. because it's like it's holy it's, shit, it's so many like. Like who? Like listen to uh, Lau, this uh, in the amazing. chat. Luke Hank is really good. Um, listen yeah, to yeah. in the chat. Sucks. Um, so does freaking what you call yeah, it? Yeah, Kingston. Kingston. What's up? Click the link in the chat so you can hear. Yeah. You can get the context because you this gotta is hear this. Just as bad as Ronda Rousey. It's yeah, actually, it's, I, technically, it's worse because nobody likes Megan Fox. <laughs> That's kind of like the. There's like a vibe that, particularly because she's dating. MGK and people are like, oh, see now he's absorbing it. He's oh, he just absorbed bad. it. You, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, we, that we that we feed on blood doesn't make us evil. <laughs> it's, it's like yo, crazy. dude. And, and somebody somebody said because um I I quote tweeted this and uh, just as confused as everybody else. And somebody replied this morning saying maybe Ed Boone wants this. Maybe he likes this. And I hadn't really considered that because I'm like. It's possible. There is, there is no other reason when you have when he's surrounded by brilliant voice actors all the way from um really MK when when they rebooted it from uh NK9 the voice acting was fine. X11 great except for Ronda Rousey. Like everybody has done well except for that Ronda Rousey like what the fuck's going on with this? And then you have uh Megan Fox. My theory nah, Salone, now that that Salone person was said bad, that bro. it's good to so Stallone is Stallone. Stallone he's was a, bad, Stallone's man. actually he, delivered, he, did, he did not deliver his lines well, man. But I, I like it. I still I liked he, it. I think he did his Rambo lines exactly how his Rambo line should be. I think they just recorded like, Rambo lines to, again. It was like this is stupid. This is shit of Rambo again. Like, but that's just my you, opinion. Like, that's, see, I'm a, I'm a fan of the Rambo franchise. He's not some fucking elegant speaker de- uh, delivering these beautiful soliloquies. That's not what he does in Rambo. If you uh, want to hear look, good, fair, um, fair is fair. It wasn't, like, say, it wasn't as bad as that. I'll give you that without a doubt. I, just, I don't think it's bad, bad at all. That. I think he did exactly what he was supposed to do. Just like uh, Jean Claude Van Damme being uh, the version of Johnny Cage. Because uh, if if you got if the people don't know about Mortal Kombat. Mm-hmm. The original game was supposed to be a Van Damme game, but uh, John Con Van Damme would not sign off on it because, like, who the hell are these guys? There's like fucking these three kids that are trying to make a game about me, not a big studio, piss off. So then they just made Johnny Cage, who was based off of him in Bloodsport. And uh, so finally, 30 years later, they finally got um, him in the game. So he's delivering the lines. And what he sounds a like. What a bag, miss. What a bag evasion. Oh, yeah. Of course. What it's like, an it, I feel like the same way about, avoid a, a bag, about bro. a. Good, what's a, his good name? job. Will Smith and Swift, Will, oh, Will Smith, Smith turning down the, uh, the Matrix. Yeah. Like crazy. Well, the, Ma- the Matrix was, it was, it's very popular, but that's no. not an insane bag. Like that is a bag Dude, he missed. You know how I many? You that, know how popular Mortal Kombat legacy. will be. <laughs> no, 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 Brother. Kingston. I don't. I don't. I don't think you have any. I don't think you have any concept of how important the Matrix is. The, yeah. the, no, like, no, no, it's the crazy Matrix important. is single handedly responsible. Legacy. The Matrix without the Matrix, you would not have. I, I'm. I, I'm not even joking when I say this. I really think Cyberpunk 2077 wouldn't exist without the Matrix. It's way like, older. Like I than don't Matrix. think you it's would way have older that than game. the Matrix. But but. The, no, 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 you don't understand, you don't understand, you don't get what yeah. I'm yeah. Yeah. fucking saying, Yeah, yeah, yeah. You exactly, you yeah. Keanu yeah. Reeves, Keanu Reeves would be nothing without the fuck, I'm sorry, 1, like he would, he would be, he would be no, right. fucking right. nothing without right. the Matrix, it's insane, that's our, Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk was already a star, have got that imagine game. what it would have done for him, right, right, right. Cyberpunk, game. I understand the tabletop exists, I understand the tabletop exists for a long time, that's not what I'm saying, but like fucking crazy how how important, like it is, his life would be so different, if he, if he just if he took the Matrix, he would have just stayed in martial arts movies. And no one would have found out about what? him. That's what would have happened. He would have just kept Dude, doing martial he, arts movies. Nobody would have found out. Didn't 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 he, didn't he didn't he pass up? Um. Uh. Oh my God. What was it? He passed up the Matrix for was it? Was it, it was for Wild Wild, Wild, Wild West. West? It was Wild Wild West for Giant Spider. Oh, fuck, for the Giant, the giant spider, spider movie because Wild Wild West is more of a box office hit than that did to him, which is fair. Fair. It's a which is not fair. 
I thought it, I thought well, it would have were not all. popping at that time at all. I thought I hey man, yeah, I crazy. Could, <laughs> I could see how he could have done it, but like, oh, I'm already involved in this, whatever. But like, I don't even like. like I don't even th- think would have fit as Neo. In all fairness. His thought, he just thought it was the safe movie. Uh, like, yeah. well, it's see, that's just that's just not being able to see because Neo, Neo as uh, um, at Keanu Reeves is so well established. It's hard to picture anybody else. But Will Smith at that time was killing it. I imagine it would have worked. I imagine it would have worked, but it just would be different. Like Neo would not be this kind of subtle guy as much as like because you know you Keanu, Keanu Reeves is a very subtle guy. But as much as like say I could picture somebody else playing um Doctor whatever the fuck his name is in I Am Legend, but at the same time yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like I could it, it could be done in a different universe, but we it's just hard to picture since it's already there. Um I just I if I were Will Smith though, I'd still cause he made a video about this on YouTube. Like I hate that all these fucking celebrities got on YouTube and started being like, I'm a U- Yeah, uh, it's fucking, fucking annoying. Get the yeah, fuck out of here. doesn't <laughs> exist anymore really though, but it it was happening. Like twenty seventeen is when it started like, really happening. They started encroaching. Yeah. And yeah, they kind of fell yeah, off a little yeah. bit. They'll have these fucking like plaques and Kevin shit. Kevin James, I'm like, fucking fuck Kevin you. James. <laughs> Kevin James, the King of Queens himself, had like a sketch comedy channel or something. I didn't it was know so that. So bizarre. I didn't you didn't know, know that? Like, no. He did. He Jack did. Black and to be to be fair to him, no, no. To, uh, well, yeah, Jack Black, I'll I'll allow. Like I remember, Jack Black was like, I'll I'll let we'll let him pass. He's such yeah, a weirdo. Yeah. He was such he's a weirdo. Like, he's like, he's j- cool. Everybody j- likes him. That's why he's still doing the same thing. Yeah, but he's cool. So you guys, he made Camp Rock. I like Camp Rock. He made Cool School Rock. Kevin James, uh, he had. To, to be fair to him, he had the, he had this one series of sketches that he would do that was actually pretty. It was actually not bad. Not be not necessarily because of him, but because of like the editing that was involved, where he would play. He would he would play the sound guy in like very famous movie scenes, and they would be shot really really well because they would be shot like in the same style as like the movies that they were in, and like the, they would color grade it perfectly and like cleverly edited. And I was like, this it's not it's not bad. But it's very bizarre. It's yeah. it's a very bizarre thing. I was like, why is Kevin James making making fucking sketch comedy like fucking Sugar Pine Seven? This is really bizarre. I guess he's like just it's bored. Yeah, just bored bored people with millions of dollars. Yeah, right. If I was him, I would just do what I would just hop on the Adam Sandler fucking train because Adam Sandler's just making like ten thousand movies on Netflix. It's and, weird uh, to me that Kevin James and Adam Sandler never worked together because they seem like they, you know what I mean? They, they, like they seem haven't? like they like, seem incredibly adjacent. Aren't they? Aren't they in grown ups? Not, not as far as I know. Wait, maybe they have. I don't know. I'm sure they have together? something uh, together. I'm assuming, but I can't think of anything off the top yeah. of my head. Oh, was he in Grown Ups? I think Kevin was in was Grown Ups. I never saw Grown Ups, to be fair. Uh, no, because I think Oh, I was... guess uh, I guess they are. For some yeah. reason, they don't seem like Wait, they were together at all. They, they were in Chuck and Larry, weren't they? <laughs> that's right, yeah, Chuck that's and Larry. I totally forgot well. about Chuck and Larry. <laughs> what? No, Wait, yeah, what? fair okay. enough, yeah. How many I movies? Totally... How many movies? Because I only remember it's probably It's probably just those it's probably three. four. The Grown Ups, both Grown Ups movies and... I don't there's even, three grown ups movies? Did you see there's any there's of them? Three, yeah. I didn't see it. There's definitely two. <laughs> I saw zero of those movies. Yeah, I didn't I saw, the first I saw two. none of them. So it's, it's Kevin James, uh, Chris Rock, right? Uh, David yeah. Spade and Adam Sandler? And, and there's someone else. I was was it Adam Spade Sandler in that? Like, I just don't even. I think so, okay. yeah. Yeah, okay. they're Sandler movies for okay. sure. Because it's. And um, I, Every time I think of grown ups, I think of that one movie where those wild hogs, I don't know why. Something about that move, like the guy with the Buzz I don't know if they came out around the same time or person. something. I forgot his name. Um, Chris Rock was in that movie also. Tim Allen. That's why. Tim Allen. Tim, Tim Allen. Allen yeah. Oh yeah, well, because yeah, I had a uh, the ah uh, jeez, uh, what's his name? What's his name? Yo, Sandy, I want to fuck your ass. What's Travolta? his name? Come on. Oh, come Fonzie. On, no, 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 no. Travolta. Ah, uh, jeez, Travolta. Thank you. They're the same fucking person, though. Like, yeah, yeah. They're, they're fucking <laughs> Fonzie yeah, and Dr. Views, Volta. Yeah. Like, Grease and uh, him and Grease. Uh, and, yeah, him and, and Grease and, and Fonzie. And uh, pretty Fonzie fucking are the same same fucking. Oh, did you? Um, I don't know what happened. I don't know the context, but I saw uh, Henry Winkler responding to a fake story of um, of Hassan uh, of having sex with Tucker Carlson. Oh <laughs> what? Yeah. So there's like some fake <laughs> What are you thing. talking about? There was like some fake video circulating on Twitter of like Tucker Carlson like talking about how he had sex with uh, Hassan Piker. And it, it's like some, I guess, uh, and then for some reason, Henley Winkler, Fonzie responded to it. And I, I forgot to get the context because I was driving. I was driving and I was listening to uh, something. What the fuck I was listening to? And I was like, I have to follow up on this. <laughs> I was like, what is yeah, What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. So it's it's somewhere on Twitter, which I forgot to, uh, to look oh, into so it. Oh, so I, 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 I see. 
<laughs> you found it? This? Yeah, it's it's some something uh, like some Twitter account called Call to Activision. Question: If we were given if we were given some interesting information about Tucker Carlson, should we release it? And it's a picture of uh, Tucker Carlson next to Hassan, and, and Henry Winkler says yes. <laughs> is that okay? why? That is so weird. Oh yeah, yeah. Cause- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I guess it, I think in that call to activism within that thread, there's like this video that's going into detail about them like like smashing or something. <laughs> that is so <laughs> ridiculous. That's yeah, just yeah. a if, lie. If you, if that you is scroll straight up it, not true, which replies, is insane. There's this this blown up picture of a son with his like nipple and hairy chest and like uh, <laughs> Tucker's like talking about him and shit. That's just not the truth, and the uh, people are like eating it up. Like he's just, he's just selling a lie. I love fucking Fonzie's like, hey, yeah, we got <laughs> there's this conspiracy of Tucker Carlson. It got exposed after you know Tucker uh, it uh, finally exposed Obama for being gay as shit. Oh yeah, that's right. I totally forgot about that. He you found guys that saw guy that, that's, right? <laughs> yeah, the, the, he, he, Tucker Carlson. <laughs> Tucker Carlson interviewed some guy who claims that he had sex with Obama in 1999. <laughs> <laughs> did did you know that you this guy has you, gone on really campaigns gay? for years saying this shit? Though this is the one thing I didn't know. Does that make you really people gay? start looking Listen. into him? Shut up! <laughs> He's Be- talking. What, what are you saying? Yeah. What? what? Like, does that make? I, you I really don't know what's going if on. You fucked up somebody. Like, let's say you're as old as Obama is, right? Shut up! No, it doesn't. What, he does what was it, he right? I, I want to know the context. I want to know the context. I want to know the context of like. Wait, I didn't know that he went on like a like a press tour for years. Yeah, so he there's like this? there's vi- footage of him throughout the years trying to sell this story. <laughs> you can find time lapse footage of him getting older as he's telling him about <laughs> as he's telling <laughs> random strangers about how Obama fucked him in 1999 <laughs> to fucking I'm blue dabba dee dabba die. Hell yeah, that's dude. fucking crazy. Pretty much everybody, the consensus is uh, Obama can do better. That's pretty much the consensus. They're like, so I don't no believe this. So no taking it seriously? <laughs> They're like, not Obama taking it seriously. No. How? <laughs> well, first of all, yeah, yeah, that's the kind of thing that I was thinking. I was like, I could look, I could believe that Obama fucked some random guy in 1999. But do I believe that Obama fucked this guy in 1999? I just, I don't believe it. <laughs> I, like, I don't know, man. How was Obama? I don't know. How old was he? Some, like, I was like... Uh, 24 years ago. I don't know, like 30 something? I don't know. How is he? How is 39, Obama? maybe? Obama age. What? I don't know how old. I don't how know old how is old he Obama now? Is. Yeah. Oh, I, I couldn't even. I have Obama no idea. I, don't care. I, I never cared. I didn't. I barely cared when he was president, you know? Yeah. He's 62. I only cared. He's way you'll, older you'll than I thought. Holy shit. Oh, okay. 62. So he was literally 49. 62? 49 then. Did you, see Rom- Did you see that video of Romney being like, we should really step down? Like, we shouldn't have old people in. In government, yeah, Rob. You see that? Dude, Rob he's the only sensible old, one, bro. It's crazy. He's, he's like the, the only he really, one. He's he really old, was. He's the old school monster. Like I, I miss the old school monsters because they're just they're just monsters, but they're subtle about it. They're supposed to be like politicians. Their job is to be monsters, but to be subtle is to pass monstrous policies, but pretend be uh uh like respectable in public and not go too far. And then there's post Trump. Where no one gives yeah, a yeah. fuck. Where you have a Lauren Boebert that could get elected, and she is—I mean, her rap sheet. First of all, she didn't graduate uh, high school. Awesome. Uh, she, her husband, <laughs> her husband that who she's now separated from, but like her husband, their then husband, uh, exposed himself in in front of a bunch of kids at a bowling alley. Now, I don't oh, know if he sick. Was, I don't know if he did that specifically to them, but he took his dick out. Because he's a fucking degenerate. Uh, so now whoever Lauren Boebert's dating, we're just going to fast forward. Whoever Lauren Boebert's dating, they they went on a date to uh, the Beetlejuice. Uh, I've heard good things about Beetlejuice right now, the the, the, the play. And so, oh, yeah. they, so they went. She's drunk as shit, being loud, vaping. <laughs> She's fucking vaping. And then there's a pre- pregnant woman sitting behind her like, hey, could you please not vape? I'm fucking pregnant. And she just doesn't care. She starts taking now. I don't this is the funniest part now because you know you you're, you're not supposed to take footage of the thing, right? Usually people bring they want to take pictures or footage and they're like, don't do that. She didn't even wasn't even interested in that. She wanted to take selfies, so she started with the flash on taking selfies of herself. And I'm like, That's what are you crazy, even? Dude. You're not even. <laughs> you're, there's just people behind you. I don't even understand what you're doing. So then of course they they uh, they the ushers were like, hey. Uh, 
get, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here now. And then she started being like, don't you know who I am? And, and started flipping them off I'm and shit. Lauren Bobert. <laughs> it's dude. It was as if anybody. Dude. Who the it fuck? Was, I don't even know who this person is. Who is this brother? She's just as or like. Do you know who uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene is? Or, oh yeah, uh, yeah. Or uh, Matt Gates. They're just this yeah. new wave of the worst people possible um, getting into Congress. Like, oh, just, okay. They, they're being voted in because she they're really didn't. Yeah, I, I wasn't fucking. She's an office, no she's an office here. rep in what you call it in um, Florida. But of course, of course, of course, in Florida, have somehow to be a she, fuck, you don't have to finish high school to become a fucking office rep. Of course, dude, we should, we should, we should run for, we should run for office in Florida and just I like thought about, we, we, <laughs> we could, we could fucking trounce. All we have to do is just say retard and slurs, and no, then really? we would, we would like, uh, it's like for real, like we would just, <laughs> we would just win. That is how these people are winning how now. They all um, office. That's so crazy. They're promising. They're running on a campaign on promising to hurt the libs. That's that yeah, is yeah, that's, yeah. It. that's it. She's four feet tall, yeah. bro. <laughs> so she's five that's feet crazy. tall. Yeah, I mean, the, like, the, it's it's she's four feet tall. She's <laughs> like a Mexican alien. Yeah, Stop. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> dude, she, dude, I'm, bro. I, I still, I, I've been thinking about getting some cake because that shit. In general, dude, that that Mexican alien. Gone. All right. It's it's a different it's a different we're in a different mode that I feel nah, like at dude. a certain point we're going to have to pump the brakes and then change some shit you, you know like I don't know cuz if I think a lot of people were just awakened to oh Trump can, <laughs> Trump can Trump can go to prison and still be president <laughs> like that just doesn't but you but you can't vote if you if you're a prisoner if you if you are a felon you can't vote but you can be president you can become president yeah, it's fucking, it is make that it is make crazy sense. that is a mo- that is one of the most insane things I think I've ever uh, become cognizant of yeah like that 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 was a real thing it's like that's lunacy <laughs> to the max but. <laughs> I don't know, man. We gotta get we gotta get these Mexican aliens down. Oh, we have man. to wake them. We have to wake them up somehow. Maybe put some water on them, rehydrate them, get them back so they, they, they can maybe uh, make it make have them teach us uh, a thing or two. <laughs> you know what's so you funny know? about these aliens? Did you uh, did you guys see? Did, you, did oh. you see? Wait, before you before you continue, oh, what, what did you see that that picture I sent you of uh, <laughs> of of uh, Radiohead's the Benz with the with the Mexican alien. No, what? <laughs> I, I said it to you. I, I said it. To, I said it to your like uh, in a text message to you specifically because I thought you would be the only person that I know oh, that would appreciate oh, it. Oh, it fucking it, it, it failed. It failed to send. I forgot. Oh, it I, did. Yeah, while we were we were, uh, it it didn't. Ah, oh, dude. <laughs> That's yeah. It is. It's so fucking good. Yeah, send it again because it it uh it it just said failed uh failed to send and then I forgot to mention it. I'll send it on uh I'll send it on Twitter because that would probably it'd probably be more right. reliable but this this picture is this picture fucking killed me when i saw it because i was just like oh my god it's just it's just the mexican alien but like it's radiohead's the bends and it's like it's <laughs> it's so perfect like if you know the original album cover it's fucking it is <laughs> it is so fucking perfect that i can't i can't get over it there we go oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fucking. <laughs> yeah, that's. Fu- yeah, that is. <laughs> I'm gonna tweet. I'm gonna tweet. I'm gonna tweet it out right now. Actually, that is fucking. That's sick as fuck. I'm gonna tweet it out right now. It's too. It's too fucking good. <laughs> I don't know where I got this. I like a friend of mine sent it to me with no context, so it's probably a stolen meme. But whatever. Yeah, idea yeah, yeah fucking um, Mexican. If I. If nobody tagged it, then they wanted to be shared around. That's what I think. I that's kind of how I, I feel about it. Some yeah, people no. give me shit about that. It's like you stole this video, and it's like it was sent to me, and I thought it was funny. Right. Like, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not gonna steal like a ten minute video from someone. All right, don't worry. Right. It's like I'm not. Don't make no money XQC. off it. Cla- like nobody's. Claiming, yeah, I'm not making money off it, and you're not it. claiming it as yours. Uh, like that's the thing. Like I feel like it's just stupid people because I feel like it's pretty obvious. It's it's one reason why I like the Simpsons uh, uh, shit post community because we uh, we don't use um, watermarks, and it's yeah. the point is just to share it. So the point but, is proliferation. Yeah, 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 and it's so it's great. Like nobody's no one bitches. That's crazy. That that's great. That is very. <laughs> that that alien is very. Yeah, it's fucking very accurate. <laughs> it's exactly. It's so perfect. But uh, <laughs> it makes me laugh every time I see it. So um, yeah, I don't know, man. So we're we're in the since we're in the realm of politics already. Uh, I mean, so there's there's a lot of stuff going on with Biden. Um, Biden. So 
the first thing I want to talk about because it's like the most it's it's brief and we can move on to the the impeachment stuff that that's been circulating. But uh, dude, there's a clip of him at like some Vietnam. I don't know Congress or some some I don't, I don't know what the fuck he's there for. It's like some kind of speech that he's giving in Vietnam or for Vietnam or something, right? And he just goes up to the mic and says, "I don't know about you, but I'm gonna go to bed." And along with other just like rambly tangents, and it's like, dude, between this Mitch McConnell breaking down twice, fucking uh, <laughs> Diane Feinstein's <laughs> face slowly melting in one direction. I, I, we, we, why, look, I don't know what the fuck Biden did as far as like, or what the reason for impeachment is, you know what I mean? Like, I'm sure it's all some stupid shit about Hunter Biden's laptop as if it matters. Yeah. Or or some fucking nonsense about that. But like, dude, for real, get these guys out of here. (laughs) Like, like I don't even, I don't even care if it's a good reason. Get these fucking people out of here. So they're too old. (laughs) Get them out. I, dude. I wish like what, what was I say? I feel like we were we we had a solution. Oh no, we had a solution for Mitch. I don't, we didn't have a solution for Biden because the, the solution for Mitch was while he was uh, in his seizure, we were gonna put him in pronouns and rainbow suspenders and stuff, and then he'd get beaten up. Uh, for Biden, oh, how yeah. would we get rid of? <laughs> <laughs> how would we get rid of Biden? Just leave like, what him we, somewhere. Uh, just, just lead him somewhere. Let just him go leave, just leave him. No, but see, just, I feel like he'll he'll eventually. He'll find his way back eventually, even though he's, like he's not he's cognizant like of where he's going. Build him, he's like a just build him up. Build him a, <laughs> build him a, build him um like a big swimming pool, you know, get, uh, so he can sit next to it and reminisce about corn pop. Yeah, but <laughs> I remember corn pop, remember and then corn he just pop? goes on for fucking seven years. He just he, he just used to, keeps he used to pat my the- he used to pat my little leg hairs down in the pool. <laughs> I used to pat him down. I used to suffocate him with my with my airs. <laughs> Me- used to blow big fart bubbles in the pool and eat them. <laughs> and bite them. <laughs> and bite, and bite, bite them. them like <laughs> dude, I, if honestly, dude, if Biden was senile in a way, in the same way that Dracula Flow is, I. I would be so. I would be the biggest fan of, of Biden think, in the world, man. I don't man. think Dracula. If Biden went on stage, no, no. Sick. But you know what I mean. You know what I, you know what I mean. Like if if he if if Biden went on like a press conference or like went up to a podium in front of a national convention and said, "I'm biting the fart bubbles in the bath." I'm flipping bricks for Mansa Musa, like fucking holy shit. <laughs> this is the best person. If he started getting Probably. aggressive too, like he started yelling that on stage, and like people were like scared of him. Like I think, I think if I just, I don't know, man. Biden, I'm smoking that Arizona rattle Kush. I'm like smoking fucking symbiotes dude. out here, bro. We symbiotes. smoking, we smoking, <laughs> dude. We smoking symbiotes. Everybody, everybody who's l- listening to this episode, you owe you owe it to yourself to look up Dracula Flow. It is so unhinged. I it is it might be my favorite video on the internet right now. That's just some that's just some kid putting some shit on their grandpa's head and be like, "Grandpa, just talk." And he's just getting <laughs> quality content from it, dude. Yeah, like, yeah, he's definitely yeah, yeah. right. It's so, it's just so it's just the it's so stupid but so worldly. <laughs> like there's no reason why you should know like Mansa Musa at all. Yeah, especially that guy. There's no reason, <laughs> especially that ass guy, white dude. <laughs> <laughs> it has <laughs> fucking, no business. It's like it's so stupid in like an educated way. I love it. Like, but who, who's so, he hanging out with? Who's he hanging out about? with? That's telling him that shit. I don't know, man. The guy recording it from the from the left. Yeah, I guess so. Right it's from <laughs> the left. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Man, that, oh man, I uh. I, I'm so the, I look at look I I'm a little bit I'm a little bit conflicted because politics have been incredibly boring as of late. Like uh, B- Biden has not been uh freaking out as much as I'd like to. I think that he started you know doing things to fix his you know to to, to prevent his uh slipping further into senility uh senility because it when we when he was running there was so much material. There was honestly, and yeah. I'm like, "What the hell happened?" He he's, he's, seems like he's 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 stable. Like it's it's not like uh, it's not progressing, and it's been years later, and it's kind of upsetting me. It's uh like even like there the, this these impeachment inquiries 
it's just based on his son and like, oh, maybe he's tied to it or something. Let's look into it further. And it's they got nothing. And it, like it's, they they got nothing, it, and I'm like, bro, come on, it's guys, so crazy. find you. You're telling me this guy that's been around for decades, you can't find anything on him, dude, that's man, juicy? dude, 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 dude. You know what it is? It's it's again, it's it's right thing, wrong reasons again. Yeah, with like the <laughs> like when they stormed the Capitol for yeah. the fucking stupidest reason, as opposed to like the thousand other rational reasons to storm the fucking Capitol. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, it's like yeah, let's yeah. impeach Biden. Why? Uh, his son. Uh, his dick. son. <laughs> <laughs> and it's his son's penis his is son's fucking penis is a chonker. crack. <laughs> his, his son's penis is smoking crack. We gotta. Dude, I would it's love. Like, bro, how about how about the basic fact that he is clearly too old to be there? <laughs> how about fucking that? How about like I just wish we were all just reasonable enough to understand that that alone is a good enough reason. Yeah. Like sincerely, like what? Re like you have the person who is in charge of making military decisions, yeah. and he's like, "I'm gonna go." I don't yeah. know about you. I'm gonna. He's go in to the bed. middle. He's in the middle of a in defense of Pol Pot speech, and then he's like, "You know what? Never mind. I'm tired." I'm going to bed. Literally. <laughs> literally. You know what's crazy? And he walked away from that Medal of Honor ceremony recently, too, in the middle of that fucking Medal of Honor ceremony. And I'm like, he saw a butterfly. He, <laughs> he just wandered away. Yeah, and it's like, bro, it's not even a matter of, like, whether or not this is, like, offensive or whatever, or, like, whether or not it's he's being, like, kind to the, like, oh, okay, it might be, like, offensive to the guy who got the Medal of Honor. Who cares? The point is, this dude is almost completely unaware of where he is. Get him out of there. No, he's fine, bro. That's your reason. That should be your reason. Because I feel like if that was your reason, if the conservatives were like, hey, uh, we should impeach Biden because he's clearly fucking senile and losing his fucking mind and he's like a fucking drauger. Yeah, he's unfit. Uh, Absolutely. And then uh, I feel like mo even I feel like even a lot of Democrats would be like, yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Hope, well, see, I don't the think problem is because. The, I, the think only, would, I think, yeah, I think me, you man. would say that. I think you would say that. I think I would say that. I think Derek I would. would say that. I don't think a lot of Democrats would say that. I think I think most people are like us, though. I, I really do I think that. I don't most think people so. do think that. I just wonder if they would do that because of the implications. Because then there's um, a lot of other people that, that would probably have to go as well. Oh, that, yeah. Feinstein so, and, yeah. and the fire sale would start. Obviously, McConnell. And, <laughs> and probably like twenty, at least 20% of uh, it, people in Congress because... I think most people in Congress are above sixty, and then then you have the ones that's that are so fucking crazy. Yeah, it's it's like the majority. What's and the young we should, you know what we should do? Young, you know we should do? We should eat. Congress. Say, who's the youngest? Oh, you said? Yeah. Oh, I think it's um, it's somebody in their thirties. I think. Yeah, I don't remember. But uh, you could look it up. It's probably there. Yeah. But um, oh, we should hack into their. I'm we should hack into their life alerts. <laughs> <laughs> we, we should, you, you'll be an awesome prank if like if what you did was like you snuck into every congressperson's like house and then you replace their life alerts with one of those like shock the, the hand shock things yeah <laughs> when <they t> <laughs> oh god damn it oh oh there's a 34 oh, year old there's a 34 year old, oh, 34, year old. <laughs> 34 this is it this is the big one 34 and then they, 34 they just go away 34 they have a bunch of 34 year olds yeah mm. but they're drastically the issue is that the 33-year-olds are like, they don't have a lot of power in comparison to the people who've been there for fucking generations. Yeah. Guys, I am There's 35 years old. Year old I can, actually. Holy shit. I can run for president. I can let's do run it. For, let's run. Let's man, all dude, run. That's crazy. Holy no, I mean, shit. I can literally do it. He's let's all, let's enough. all, because between the three of us, we're really old. <laughs> so, so we should all run. I wonder if the, there must, there, that would be He's so fucking so fascinating young. if there was like Holy some, shit. if there was some insane legal loophole where like, let's all run, let's all change our name to the same name, run under the same name. Yeah. <laughs> and then just use our cumulative age <laughs> to be like, you're old enough. That's, and then just, <laughs> well, <they're> probably, <laughs> it's like, dude, we talked three to guys a in a trench coat. We talked to a lawyer. It's probably sometimes just like you can be president and be a fucking prisoner. I'm sure there's some type yeah. of loophole where it'll work. Yeah. We just yeah, we'll, we'll just <laughs> we'll stand in a trench coat on top of each other's shoulders. <laughs> we'll be obscenely tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then we'll we'll run for we'll run for president, bro. Dude, we'd be the like person like, in Senate is Maxwell Frost. He was born January nineteen ninety seven. He is twenty six yeah, yeah. years old. Yeah, I know that guy. That's a black guy, right? Yeah, he's he's black. You know, and it's insane. Yeah, yeah. He's a he's a kid. He's yeah, he's, he's a child. Six. That's insane. I'm, I mean that. I mean, if you're compared to like Mitch or someone, he's a kid, but I ain't a kid. Well, yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a young guy. That's a young no. like even I in see, general, okay, I, Derek. I you were like, seven when he was born, bro. That's a young dude, and you're not an old person nine. at all. 
I was nine, sir. I was you nine. were nine? Yeah. You're I was not, born in 88. Are you 36? I'm 35. Yeah, he's he's 27. So you were like, you were well, like Yeah, but he's seven. probably having a birthday coming up. That's true. Yeah, that's true. He's yeah, young. It doesn't matter. Damn. Yeah, but, it's I, saying, right but anyway, now. it's... It's. I just don't think. Like, I feel like our minds are are warped. And you saying that that's young, I'd say that's appropriate. I would say that's appropriate yeah. because you have gone through say, many mean, years I, of college at that point. I think you're ready to take on the world now around that age, and so that's I a good that's time still, for you to get in get in the office and not be a thousand years old. That's the time. Yeah, I that's think a that's perfectly a, appropriate. I, think that's, time. I would feel like a little older would be better, but like better. I think, but that's I just, no, that's, I think that's, that's still I abstract. Disagree, I disagree. Like, that's why still abstract you, though? It's like me saying older doesn't really matter. It's just that much. arbitrary, dude. Yeah, I would say like, fucking younger, man. Get get some twenty-two year olds in there. Fuck. No we need some, I don't give a shit. We need some young niggas young. in there that understand. Why not twenty-two? I think post twenty-five. I just think post twenty-five. Why? Why not twenty-two? Yeah. Just twenty-two. You don't know who the fuck you are yet. Exactly. You're still. Oh really? Does Mitch McConnell know? Does Mitch McConnell know who the fuck he is? Chris, I understand. I also think that's very. I understand it what doesn't matter. Who cares? That. It just also sounds get a fucking no. I don't think no, no, no. I, I disagree. I think get I a fucking honestly, dude. My honest opinion. My honest opinion. Get a fucking seventeen year old in there. I don't I, care I don't because agree if you have with that. if you have people who are eighty, if you have people who are eighty seven, right? Chris, people who are fucking eighty seven who don't know where the fuck they are and they're making like massive decisions that impact people who are who are going to live through that shit. They're gonna die before that shit's even a problem for them. Why not get a fucking seventeen year old? Who cares? I oh, the brain's not done maturing. Have you met? Recent fucking old people, as I, if look, like they're look, look, they're any better for look, fucking being old. I 100 agree with you in the fact that there are people that are seen now that should give me, not give be. Give me in your uh, your reasoning for age gating. I want to know your reason. For what is your... I just I just think that like like twenty five is a fine age. You know, twenty five. You usually like, give me done a with reason. college. Give me a reason. You're usually done with college. You uh-huh. have had at least some exposure to the real world in paying taxes, doing less things. Now that's not every twenty five year old. Obviously, it's it's it, it ebbs and flows, of course. But like twenty five is a very safe age to start introducing you into like politics and stuff like that. You can probably start, you can introduce you into someone that's going to severely affect politics. That's that's think, my opinion. That's my opinion. I just think I feel like twenty five was the age, age that my brain less... like really turned on. That's me I just think age is a little less important, and I just want to know the substance of what people are actually going to do. I think that's really the most important thing. A lot, like the youth but right now are very age, age into it. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on. I think wisdom doesn't mean shit when you're trying so to make all. policy about saving the fucking world or I the people within it because the world's going to be fine. The world, I don't think. I don't think. No, no, no. Let's see. Think, look at, look at. Yeah. A fucking sixteen-year-old does not need wisdom in world lived experience to know that. We are gonna be fucked on this planet in a few hundred years. They don't need they they don't need wisdom bro. for this. A few decades, a few decades like, are gonna be in a really <laughs> fucking place. But look, but look, a few decades things are gonna be weird. That's for sure. But I'm saying like maybe in a couple hundred years we'll, we'd be gone. In the, the, like what I mean, like there's already yeah. irreversible damage going on. All I'm saying is you don't have to be an old and wise. You don't have to be my age to know that. To where all I want is somebody who is passionate. And who is actually going to do it? And hey, here's the thing. Just like any other job, if you don't do what you say, you're fucking fired. It's as simple as that. Like any any job that we have, you work at fucking McDonald's and you don't fucking take care of the customers. You know, you're like, ah, I'm not going to ring them up. I'm going to take a nap. I agree. They'll fucking fire your ass, I bitch. I agree. I 100% and, agree that like there are, there are 100% plenty of young people in the planet that are probably like there's maybe like fucking 15 16 17 year olds on this planet that if honestly they got into senate and like they removed a bunch of old motherfuckers we would they would get shit done and we'd be like yo this is impressive these are children yeah it would be infinitely agree, better right but let's I just, just let's think just put that, it like what this you call a certain age how about a compromise a I, I feel like a certain age threshold should be acknowledged on both sides like i think once you're like 60 you need to get the fuck out of office period you yeah, are I, you're I, a relic i, I, I agree you're a relic, but, you should right. not be there How about anymore. a compromise? Look, if you're old enough to destroy your brain with alcohol, I think you should be old enough to fucking be a part of the no, government. Another, I, I, another I, ar- I, arbitrary age gate as well. I understand. I agree, 100%. You know, like alcohol, I just feel like marijuana. If, if, you, if you're old enough to, to if you do rent, that, If you can rent the car, you should be able to go in the Senate. There you go. The, yeah, so 25. That's, that's, that's Which conveniently is, that 25. That one's way more arbitrary. The 25. That's, of, that's like, exactly. That's also arbitrary. All of these age things are very arbitrary. That crazier. It's way crazy. You can you can poison yourself with alcohol before you get rid of a car. <laughs> dude, I remember, just, dude, you could you could you could conscript yourself into the fucking military before you can drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could you could blow your, you could blow your face you off. With your you could hold. You could you, you could throw, throw you could throw 
You could throw a Vietnamese kid in a fridge, lock him in there, and kick it down this fucking mountain <laughs> legally. <laughs> but you can't fucking have a beer afterwards. You can't have a it's fucking beer so in American crazy. soil. You can't drink that, that is so pain nuts. away afterwards. No. Is insane. I, I, love, I don't know. I, I, I think, I think that age does matter a lot. I think age does matter in decision making. I think depending but on I the context. Do, but I do think it is not as important as some people give it credence to. I just like I somebody just who's a, myself. I base it off of someone me, who's like, like a, um, a the leader of like um, war combat or something. Certain things that I'm like, I do want wisdom. I want experience because they can think of things <sighs> that a person that hasn't had experience. You know, they can think of more scenarios and stuff. They can they can better help navigate certain situations and stuff. I, yeah. I understand like w experience, but if if we're just talking about like say a lot of these people that are just supposed to be representing the populace, I don't need experience from them. I just need them to you, do what the people you want. You wouldn't, you, but you wouldn't want, you would like, think it like, no, because their job, their, their job is to represent, to represent their job is to represent, right, exactly, us. exactly. Their, represent their job is to represent, they don't, they don't, they don't need to have fucking any experience, any wisdom at all. All they need to do is look at what their fucking constituents want. They, they have to look at like, oh, what do the people want? But I, I'm going to do it's, that. It's not because that Because that's their fucking though. job. We've all, we've all no, seen it is not. literally that it simple. Should it is that simple. It should be, it should be, but it's not. It is really not that simple. Everything we're talking about right now is what should be done, how it should be. Like a person that's like a person that's like um let's say like a person that's like twenty twenty three years old right still lives at home but is a part of a part of these uh a part of a very progressive movement about the housing market right and um trying to uh, um alter property taxes throughout a state if that motherfucker's never lived in a house outside of his own how the fuck is he gonna really understand that it doesn't he, matter he can talk about he's supposed he to represent time, time, what time, he can people talk about it. are asking of him he can talk about yeah. it hey he can bring you it need up to and I agree, do this. I agree. he okay, can potentially be I very will... right. He has to be very right about it too. I, I think agree you, with that you, as well. I don't think you understand how the job works, man. It's they I, say I, I think, here's the here's the majority. They want this. You get it done. So then that information is passed along to you. So I need I want you guys to regulate or hey, I want you to regulate gas. This person may not know exactly how to do it. He will get into position to make the meetings to get to the people that know how to do it, have the meetings to make it happen. It's like, cause he has this, this is the representative to make it happen. So they, they meet with the fucking BP oil and the whatever the fuck they, they make these meetings and stuff. And they bring people like lawyers who is their job to negotiate and make sure nothing is fucking screwy. Like a lot, like say, like, it's like the presidents, they have advisors around them, right? They're supposed to be the voice of the people, but then they have smart motherfuckers doing shit around them and advising them. Okay, and, I, I, I can, I, I understand. There's also, I there's also I the aspect. Are wrong or anything. There's I also think, like, there's, a, there's also something that I think comes into play, and that's just like the general desire to, like, I think once you're, once you pass a certain age, I do, I do think there's like a fire that's kind of gone. And I do think like like there's no, <laughs> yeah. there are people who are like like for real like I I just think like you lose passion over time and like dude if I if I had a if I had any influence over government at like nineteen I would have got a lot of shit done man I would have got a lot of shit done because I was super fucking super invested super angry very very like passionate about it. Now I don't really give a shit. Now the whole world can burn for for all I give a shit. Like I fuck fuck all of you, quite <laughs> you're, frankly. You actually got it. You're right about that because I remember being in my kidding. early twenties. I, I remember being in my early twenties. Yeah, 20s. dude. I, I, don't, I would be. I don't I, think dude, that's I, true. I, I would I still be. Care a lot. I would be. Fu I you you still care, and maybe Bernie Sanders still cares. But like, you think the majority <laughs> of those people fucking care? Like the overall majority of people lose steam as they go on, and that's normal and natural. But like, fucking dude, that's why I say like honestly, like the younger the better. Sincerely, get them in there at fucking twenty one. These motherfuckers and are maybe fired even up, and, dude. Yeah. Yeah, fire them. They're so fucking... And I remember that. I remember having that energy. And, like, you know, that's that's Dude, useful. I've I've been... I went to... I used to, When I was younger, I went to picket lines. I went to... Um, I went Same. to... I, I did... Um, I would... Like, oh, here's this, this environmental movie we're going to watch at this film festival, and we're going to talk about things that we can do and solutions and shit. And I interviewed this one fucking nerd that was ahead of it and stuff. Like, I would uh, listen to um, a lot of conscious hip-hop, and I was, like, really ingrained in, like, oh, I want to help change things. I want to um, get cops, uh, um, hold them accountable, like, when some bum got beaten up um, uh, a city over for me. And now, where I'm at at 35... All that stuff still bothers me, but I'm like, ah, I don't want to do anything. <laughs> Just, I'm like, I don't want to do. This. I don't want to. Hundred percent. Now extend that anything. to the pe extend that to, to government officials who are like, man, that sucks. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. they're like fifty, they're like sixty, they're seventy, they're eighty. Yeah. Could you imagine? You think like, they're fucking for you them. Think it's they like care, I didn't even bro? know that group existed. What's a Guatemalan? 
What the fuck is, <laughs> what is that? I thought that yeah. was a fruit. <laughs> what the fuck I did that? everything right. I did everything right, and they indicted me. I saw, I saw this police officer hit this woman on the street. I said, what a shame. I walk back home. I cry. One big tear. One big tear. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. That's that's all. The, that's all they're doing. I get it. It's crazy. It, gets, it gets it gets harder to you know care because you know you like you have your own things that become more precious. You get your fa- like concern. Your you family, become more concerned yeah, as you yeah. get older. That's just a fact. Yeah. I think you, that I, is I, a fact. I don't you think that's true. Help. Yes, you, you well, do. You do. You I think. It's, it, I think. It, you may not it, become it's more generally true, but you you do. You it could be. More... It it could be. It could be generally true, but I don't think it's. I don't think it's true universally. I have become way more left leaning as as time has gone. No, on. no, no, and no. So is no. Colin Con- actually, which is funny. Conservative, conservative. Because Colin's in the not a fucking. That you have to worry about your family and who you care about. Like not so much uh, politically. That's not what that means. But met, like met, like you become more like I care about my tight knit group. Everybody else, I wish you guys the best. Sorry, but. I got kids, I got a wife, I got a girlfriend, I got really close friends. That's you, not really conservative, though. That's just, like, self-preservation. That's, like, I guess... Conservative. Selfish. Conservative is a word that works for it. I mean, I Man, guess. Not politically it, conservative. It, technically. Not politically it, it conservative, I would works. say. You do look I'm after more of you and your own. But, you do look after more of you and your own, but I don't think that's, like, exclusively It, it, it is more, it, like, but, yeah, if, at the end of the day, if we wanted to be... Because a lot of people, maybe they'll get, uh, they'll, they'll get offended, but it is selfish at the, end, at the end of the day it's like when we talk about like billionaires and people with a lot of money by default them their inaction is is immoral just by inaction and they would be like offended by hearing that but when you have a just a massive amount of wealth that you know that could help fix most of the major problems in the world and you don't do anything about it why are we printing all this money and devaluing the dollar why are we printing all this money? It's like, oh, geez, I wonder I wonder if that has anything to do with all this money that was already printed that's just chilling in offshore accounts, collecting fucking dust and not doing anything. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. man, I wonder if that, I wonder if billions of dollars, billions, 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 <laughs> billions of dollars chilling in offshore accounts, not trickling back into economy has something to do with that. Mm-hmm. It's, mm-hmm. Really, it's really, it's really, it's really <laughs> crazy because I've, I've noticed this about astounding. Like, like um, I like, hate it, man. Like the idea of wealth and what it, what it is, what it has done. To people and groups like, like I, I've I've been to I go to barbershops. Whenever I go to barbershops, I obviously have like the big chats and conversations, like the like the black experience at the barbershop, right? Sure. And hearing them completely, some of them completely alienate like morality for the idea of what money means is so horrible and sad. Because it's <laughs> just ever- like it's <laughs> like you're t- like Kanye West is a rich man. He knows what he's talking about. It's like rich does not mean smart at all. Rich just means oh yeah, rich. no, not at all. That's all That's it means. But to them, it's that. like this guy's rich. This guy's wealthy. He's doing good with his life. He guys don't know what he's talking about because our world has been brainwashed into thinking that. For That's so also many so years. weird. It's also so weird because like I don't know. That crowd tends to talk down to like like a rich. It's just it's it's selective, really. I guess. It, it you used, know what I mean? It, it used to once upon a time. No, no, no. They do anymore. still. They do still. Like it's like look at all so. these fucking rich Hollywood actors. Fucking like oh they're fucking rich. What do they know about the fucking? And then they go to Elon Musk. He's like oh he's so rich. He must know a lot. It's, I, mean, it's I think fucking, I think maybe bizarre. that group. Yes, maybe that group. When it comes to like that's art, what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about specifically. Like, like the, anyway, first of all, artists in general, we give artists too much credence of them being like intelligent. It's like no, you can be talented. Artists are talented. Yeah, you're talented. Not Brother, intelligent. Right. Even That's when it comes down thing. to our level, the the type of stuff that I've heard people say about me, for instance, and I immediately push back and I'm like, guy, I have uh, memorized a handful of things, but that does not make me smart. L- like that does not make me a G because I've, I've been here. Oh, you're really you're really fucking. I'm like, no, <laughs> I just I've I've read more than I'd say. That bothered the, the hell person. out of that. That's that would bother the hell out of me when when people would c- come up to us at uh, at like VidCon or something and and um, talk about that stuff where they would they'd be like, "Oh man, you're so well, you guys uh, are so intelligent." Brave and and you're it's like so... it's not it's literally not intelligence at all. What it is is just basic. I really do feel like it's just a basic intuition or like maybe just common sense, really. You know, because it's, it's like it should be it should be obvious. You don't need to be educated to know that somebody who doesn't know where they are the majority of the time shouldn't be running the country. You know what I mean? Or you don't have to be educated to feel like, oh, maybe 80 year olds shouldn't be making policy decisions that are not going to affect them at all and are only going to affect people who live afterwards. Yeah. Like, it's that's I, not I, I, I understand. there's I understand. nothing about that that needs a degree at all. You're yeah. right. Right. You guys are right. right. But what happened is that those people got that knowledge from you. So they inherently think you're intelligent because you, most teachers and like 
teachers are not like none of them are not very intelligent, but obviously they're teaching us. So we think they're smart, you know, not to discredit right, teachers, right, yeah. but to like a lot of teachers are probably like, especially like grade school teachers. I don't probably not like super, super smart people. They understand the no, curriculum, like, how to teach younger children. My generation, is, and, and they, uh, there's a lot of knowing teachers. How, I know yeah. a handful of teachers now, and they're not smart people. They're just knowing they're just how, capable. <laughs> they're just capable. No, knowing how, <laughs> knowing how to teach is a <laughs> knowing how to teach is a skill set in of its own, and it's it really important skill set. Arguably, the most important skill set. Period. Ever. Oh like, yeah, hundred percent. I can't. Teachers, teachers are the can't most important teach, jobs ever. <laughs> dude, I can't teach anyone. I don't understand how to teach. I, I like. I remember like uh, when I was younger, like my my. Uh, my nephew came up to me. He was like, "Hey, can you teach me how to play guitar?" I was like, "I have no idea how to do this, <laughs> even slightly." And it seems easy, I guess, because it's just like. But I, I would just be like, uh, uh, and I remember being like, "No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I can't, I, I can't I've turned teach down you how to a lot guitar. of. I've turned, I've turned down a lot of people that have wanted me to teach them guitar or drums, but only." Because I, I'll be honest with them, and, and I would hope that they understand that it's not that I'm trying to be lazy or brush them off. It's that legitimately the way that I learned the drums and guitar, I would tell them it was mostly I have this thing that is uh, it's it's like some people that are great at drawing. They can they like I can only trace. I can't fucking see something, a picture and draw it like damn near perfect. But then my friend Ed is a fucking god at drawing. Me, when it comes to music, I have this like perfect pitch thing that it was easy for me to absorb things and there's so much about music that I don't know. Lots of chords, the most basic shit that you should go to school for or like take a class for, I don't know most of that stuff. You so I can't chords? teach somebody. That's no way, there's no, no way you don't know basic chords. I know chords. how to play most chords, but if you were like, tell me the name of this chord, I don't know most of them. You because serious? I just, That's pretty, yeah, I just pretty pick, insane. I pick shit up. So how I learned how to play guitar was just hearing shit and then being like, all right, and then figuring it out. And then um, as I, well, I was playing guitar for like a couple of months with my friend Moises, and then I started to learn the basics with him, and I was like, ah, this is gay, I don't care. Because it was it was basically <laughs> me going, it was me going backwards, which what I, I should do. I really should learn the basics, like, I'm properly. The dude, I'm the same way. I'm the same, I, like, there, I know the basic chords, but there's some chords that I found with, like, sus like I don't know, like, suspended sevenths or whatever. Or, like, you know what I mean? Like, where, like, they're, they're the weird sounding chords where it's like, I know how to play them, I know where to put them. Yeah. I have no idea what the fuck that's called. Right. That's I don't crazy. know what, I learned, I learned I don't know what that chord is. Freaking what you call it. I know all the basic of piano. Like, I learned all of the basics, and that's all I was able to get down back. I, my grandmother was I like mean, a classic piano player, so she's like, "You gotta learn I know how this a, works." I know A through G and some of the minors. Dude, if you the minors are, <laughs> see, are way harder is, than they need to be, even to do. those <laughs> things that you tell me, like I forgot. So you, we can, I can sit down with you, and then as soon as you play and say that's A, then I'm like, "Okay, yeah, I know that. I just didn't know it was A. I just that for whatever reason, my brain doesn't want to retain that memory because it's like I get it." And I was mostly trained in not trained. That's the wrong. That's not. I, there's no training. Yeah, I, yeah. I mostly played uh, metal, and that was a huge thing that I skipped over, like playing basic stuff. I went to metal. I went to down tuning, which kind of oh, fucked yeah, me. Yeah. Where uh, there, there's so many songs that I play down tuned, and I play it differently than another person would play in a standard tuning. So I'm I t I tell people like I can't teach you on the drums. I told how I play the drums. I told people. I watched music videos and I just watched people drum and then I just did air drumming until I got a drum and got on them. Well, to, that's how, to me, I, it's that's how like, I played it. To, to, to me, crazy. it's kind of like, I don't know. It, it's, it's like trying to introduce people to video games who haven't, who've never played them, you know, where mm. it's like, I don't know. I, I don't know where to start you really. For like I, I have an idea of where to start you. Like, but I also don't know if that's, I have no idea if that's the best way because I don't know what it's like to learn how to play video games. I've, I've been playing video games since I was a fucking child. Since before, like, my earliest memories are literally, like, Tekken and stuff, you know? Mm. So, like, I, I don't know what it's like to have to learn that. For me, it's different, and same right? thing with like, guitar I'm, and stuff. I'm a cable teacher. I was a teacher assistant a few times. For me, if you don't want to learn, I don't want to teach you. That is my instant thing, right? Like, Oh, sure. I've, I've taught people, like, how to play, like, Dungeons and & Dragons and D&D and shit like that, right? And for people, instead of, like, you have to learn how to do something so I don't have to tell you how to do it all the time so you can do it yourself. That is the most important thing about learning stuff in general. You have to figure it out. Hey, I really know how to do this. When people are like, how do you do this? Just tell me how to do it. I'm like, I'm not teaching you anything else anymore. I'm, I'm done. I'm done talking to you or teaching you how to do this. I feel you. I, feel I, that I hate, I, I hate I, it. And it bothers me. That's so <laughs> yeah. Like for me, when I would learn how to do something, it's like, I, like when I was little and I was learning to cook for my grandma, 
I didn't want my grandma to keep cooking. I wanted to do it myself. So I was like, grandma, how do you do this and this? How do you season a chicken? How do you clean a chicken? And she taught me how to do it. Now I can do it myself. Other people say, just give me the answer. And that blows, that makes me feel crazy when I see that happen. I'm like, what, what do you mean? I So you why want me to have the ability to be able to, you pass? You want to pass based on me. But why? Why do you think? Uh, like, I want to see if we're because. Uh, why do you? Th why do you? Do you? Oh, let me. I guess let me phrase it this way. Do you get like maybe a hit of uh, uh, dopamine? Do you feel better when you fucking like conquered something, you learned something, you figured something out on your own? Do you actually? Do you feel better? Because like I do, and th and that's when the I, reason when why. I, let's see, like recently, right? Yeah. Recently, I yeah. had um, I went back to college, right? And I recently had to do a math class that was all Ooh. of uh, all of college mathematics. From Boom. algebra, you would take in high school. The beginning of algebra, you take like at then high school, all the way to calculus two. I had to learn that in one summer, and I did it. And I feel really proud of myself that I did that. But that was a hard fucking class. And if I missed one day, I'd have to like do a bunch of extra backup work. And I had COVID like twice during the time it happened. Like it was really <laughs> difficult. And I learned it. And now I have it. Now I have that uh, skill set of my own. I can do that. Feels, that feels made good, me like, feel good doing that shit. Yeah, that makes me feel like, oh, I achieved. It. I know I can do that, this. That's I always try to communicate that to people when they want the quick, even like say memory that I've retained in my brain, but it's been pushed all the way back. Sometimes I I'd be like, don't don't tell me the answer if you know it. Let me let me work it out. Let me figure it out. Let me because then once I remember the answer, once I you know, it's like it feels so much better. Like oh good, I didn't have to just rely on Google or what have you. It feels nice when you. Even like you can work things out on your own or even like, say, a problem, solving a problem, but not have to immediately go to somebody. Because that's figuring you something doing out it. Like, that's just, it this, feels is me, fucking, this is me moving the gears. It feels good. It feels good. It feels really good. Like, I'm like, oh, good. My brain isn't completely fucked. You like know, working it's not out like, too, it's like when you're lifting weights, right? Yet. Like when you go, when you fuck up that first time, you can't curl something. You go back and you do it, right? It is the same kind of endorphins where you're like, oh, my God, I can do this now. This is something I'm capable of doing. But that's, I feel yeah, like some people yeah. don't yeah, have the, that Fucking everybody knows that video games. If you, if you played a fucking so, from software game. From software. When you, Not everybody I don't know if you ever, those and, games, though, very apparently well, Here's the thing, well. though. This, look, I learned this, and, and this is so... I think I've, I've always known this, but uh, there was a guy. I think his name's like Matt Smith, or I don't fucking know. But he was a, and he's a, 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 a neuro, neurologist? Is that right? Uh, I don't know. Neuroscientist? I'll, I'll do some it research. doesn't matter, but a neuroscientist... Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. But he went on Joe Rogan's podcast years ago before Joe Rogan just went completely insane. And he uh -huh. was just talking about sleep. Long story short, he was talking about, like, hey, have you ever noticed, like, there's a thing called sleeping on a problem, sleep on an issue, you wake up, and then you're able to do that thing better than when you went to sleep. And it's because your brain is working the problem out as you're sleeping. So when it comes to playing something, I've noticed this video games and music. I've noticed when I'd be trying to learn how to play a riff or something, I'd be getting frustrated and the, I'd wake up the next day and I can play it way easier. Same thing with the video game. If I was getting my ass handed to me and my brain works some shit out to help me conquer it while I'm sleeping mm. and I wake up and I whoop its ass and it's something that I was, I noticed, but I was never truly cognizant of because I didn't pay attention to it. But when he said that, I was like, that's fucking phenomenal when you think about that, that um, how th I just... And I like that feeling, and I don't ever want to be robbed of that. So when people are always trying to have shortcuts, not fully work something out and stuff, they're, they're robbed of that feeling of just like, damn, I fucking killed it. It's yeah. uh, yeah, it's I don't know how the fuck we got here at all. <laughs> I have no <laughs> well, idea how we got here. It don't matter. We yeah, it don't be matter. Versions yeah. of we should, ourselves. Uh, we should get to some. Uh, should we get to some? Uh, oh yeah, let's fucking crush some questions, huh? Some of these, uh, some of these questions, huh? All right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ba, 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 ba. What is... Oh, Jesus Christ, there's so many. Are you, there's so many questions now. Are you gay? Uh, all right, uh, Hayden Spring wrote in. He's like, hello, respectable gentleman. What out-of-pocket nonsense would make Insomniac Spider-Man 2 better or worse? I vote a dedicated slur button. Or making it so you have to play as Mary Jane the whole game. I was so dis... I, so... I was so disappointed, by the way, because I saw some gameplay of Spider-Man 2, and immediately they brought those fucking puzzles. Like, those 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 puzzles are back in. No! The fucking, the fucking little... The, the little the, the, the little spider robot. Do you remember those little spider robots? See, I totally forgot about those. I wiped them out of my memory, but there's, like, there's like those sections with, like, the, the little spider robot that's, like, 
jumping around indoors and fuck I. <sighs> you can skip those, can't you? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't. Or can you I skip so. them after you beat the game? Maybe it's about to beat the game. Yeah, it's it's after you beat the game you can skip them. But it's Is like fuck, it? man. Like what? If you if you the the issue that I have with that right is like if you're gonna give somebody the option to skip them after they beat the game, that kind of intrinsically that that kind of indicates that you know as a developer that no one wants to really do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's it's fucking bizarre that that's back. I'm excited for it. It still looks it looks really cool. I'm I'm, I'm excited to play Spider Man Two, obviously, but like. Genuinely, that's such a step back from Miles Morales, in my opinion, because Miles mm. Morales had none of that, and it was way, way better of a of just a gameplay experience. Yeah, Miles I forgot that it's, it's, it's a PS Five cut out of it. Oh, sorry, good. What? All the bullshit was cut out of it. It was just, it was a streamlined Spider Man game in the best way, yeah. which I really enjoyed. So, so just inflating the time uh, is that like the why that shit's back? It's inflating the like, like, I don't yeah. know. Like the, oh, the argument. The argument is usually like, well, it's for pacing because you don't want to be Spider Man the whole time, and it's like, yes, I do. <laughs> yes I do I'm playing a Spider-Man game if I didn't want to play tell you what if I got to the point where I was getting bored of being Spider-Man in a Spider-Man game you know what I do I fucking turn the game off and play something else I don't fucking go like oh thank god I'm Mary Jane now yeah that's, what the fuck that's a good point I mean I that's definitely so I, I personally I'm, I'm weird I'm a weird engine I don't want to be Peter I, I like I like Spider-Man for being Peter Parker and Spider-Man the same thing with Miles being both Miles and Spider Man, I want to. I want some but of their it. like their human character. I think that's what helps them be are so such great, you know, characters. I'm as well. fine with that. I'm fine with that in cutscenes, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like cut I don't scenes? need that. Oh, to be, I, I don't need that. I don't need that to, to be. That uh, walking around and talking to people is fine too. But like t- to me, it's like the whole like I didn't mind being Peter and like walking around like the what is it the feast shelter yeah. the homeless shelter and talking to people like I didn't mind that at all or like Miles at the parade you know mm-hmm. uh, or uh, not at the parade the the what, what, what was it? Uh, the fair or whatever? Was, like, I don't mind that. that. Thing, yeah. It's when you're Mary Jane and you're sneaking around and or like when you're a fucking tiny robot or when you're doing like fucking match puzzles. It's like, I, this isn't, I don't For need me, this the only time I liked was when Mary Jane got the taste and I was able to taste those motherfuckers, bro. I felt powerful finally. <laughs> I just feel like Mary Jane. I finally felt powerful. I just feel, I just feel like Mary Jane shouldn't be involved it with Spider-Man stuff to the de- to the degree that she is. Yeah, I'm, bro, not, sorry, I'm not a family man. to you're, do that. You're, that. You're, four, you're six decades too late, man. The first time that ever I know, I know, I know. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I understand. Yeah. I just, I, I don't like that she's. I don't know. Her being a journalist just sort of feels like. I like her as a journalist. I don't, it just feels I don't, like I don't like how it feels like a really ham fisted. It just feels like a really ham fisted way to get her involved in in Spider Man's life more than like I feel like Mary Jane's life is is is. It should be Peter, and she should she should have her own thing that isn't just being like a tool for being. For, for like helping Peter out Peter. like I don't think it really serves her well I don't think it's like interesting at I, all I, I, it's, I, I it's just Lois Lane they turned her into Lois Lane yeah Peter for me I think the only reason why she's like Help I me. don't like MJ I've never really been a big fan of Mary Jane Watson ever I've always been kind of like mm. Peter can do better than you even though she's fine, like, uh, Peter can do better than you. He's fucking, he's hanging out with, like, Carol Danvers and Black Widow and fucking Rogue and Storm. And, like, he can get some powerful pussy, bro. Like, what are you, you're just an attractive girl from Queens who dyes her hair red. Like, you're you're not on his level anymore. I'm sorry. But their, their <laughs> love story is, like, so intrinsic to the, like, I'd argue they're the most famous couple in comics. It's between them or it, it, it's like a close. It's very close between them, them and Lois and Clark. It's very, very. Yeah, close I, I would say I think so. Lois and Clark I, I, I would, takes the cake. I think Lois yeah. and Clark takes I think, it. Yeah. Oh, for for like. I mean, they've had the multiple past. shows. They've had multiple the shows. Past. I think modern <laughs> time now it's like Peter and MJ. But from like I don't think so at all. I, I, historically, I, it was like. I mean, them. I think they have a modern Lois and Clark too. Like in that, in that, like they it's do. Just, they have Superman it, and Lois. You're right. It's that Lois. shit. That shit just shows fire. Yeah. No, I. I would say I would I would say that Lois and Clark takes it by or, 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 or Superman takes it by a while and I, I I say that I I don't mean to I know what you're saying uh-huh. it kind of reminds me a little bit of like um you know how Pewdie, Pew, uh, PewDiePie was like the most subscribed channel mm-hmm. for a certain point and then like the second most subscribed channel before him was like 50 million below him <laughs> yeah 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 but even but the people below that 50 million were even further away it's kind of like that where it's like I feel like I feel like Superman and Lois, that's that's PewDiePie. Spider Man and MJ is probably like number two. It's still way higher than everything else around it. 
But I like, would, I would say low yes. Scene. The, there would never be a TV show called Peter and MJ. Never. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. They're you're just right. Ne- <laughs> no right. one would fucking watch that. It would not be something I'd check that anybody it out, cares at least. about. I'd check it out. I would, I would give, I'd watch. I'd watch one shit. episode. I'd watch one episode. Like, I'd, I'd watch the whole thing, and I'd be like, "This show was interesting." And I wouldn't talk to my I friends about it. it. Uh, we, but, you get, you, man, don't even put that. Uh, Netflix is about to fucking green light that shit right now. Just because you said oh, that's it. true. They're um, looking. They're looking for writers, so they're probably just like no. They they're probably hanging Spider-Man around podcasts. <laughs> yeah, they don't do Spider Man shows, unfortunately. Which, which is really sad because I feel like Spider Man at episodic form is significantly better than movie Dude, form. But I think fucking, that uh, you know, unfortunately, as he the, makes you much know how money. they did Daredevil. If they did a Spider-Man show, I'm sure if they did a Spider-Man show and they really took time to put money into it, bro, it'd be it'd be groundbreaking. People would be like, "Oh, this is an amazing television show." But yeah. they wouldn't. I think fucking, movies make too much money. I think yeah, god. The movies, yeah. man, it's crazy. The movies of I just I I have not been I've not been satiated. I've not been satisfied since the uh the the OG Sam Raimi ones. And I think that's just because it's probably nostalgia lens. Um, it's probably just all the YouTube poops and memes that are surrounding it. Why I enjoy it so much, but everything moving forward, I've I've just felt something lacking always. Even with the trilogy happening with the uh, what's his face, Tom Holland, Tom Holland, yeah. Where I still feel I'm like something just feels I I don't feel satisfied, the, and the I, I can't put my Tom finger Holland on it. Movies is that the there's a hum, was there's insane. a that's the problem with those movies. Yeah. The well, the, the, I it. I don't even think it's nec- I don't even think it's necessarily just due to that. I I do think you're right. That is the problem is the, the, the that they're all confined to the MCU. But I also feel like generally move all movies now kind of feel like MCU movies. Like it's not even just that the MCU is the problem. It's just that like everything kind of emulates it. And back then, like I don't know, man. Spider Man Two and like the Dark Knight were only a few years apart, and they feel like very drastically different films. Yeah. Whereas like. I don't know. You look at like the Flash, and it feels like every fucking movie. I agree. It it just doesn't God. like, especially especially I this fucking. Saw it. And also, there's this like fun, multiverse thing that's happening that's really ruining. I don't like Ezra Miller as a Flash. It just doesn't work for me. And it's not. Yeah, even, he's. And this was before yeah. like we found out he was uh, or they were insane. Like I just don't. <laughs> I don't. Like even before we found out all that crazy shit that uh, that they did. I was yeah. when uh, the uh, first in the the Justice League movie. I, it just didn't work for me. I'm like, I don't. This something. Eh, this is not a. This is not the. I don't want it. And uh, I saw the movie. The only thing I liked about it was Michael Keaton. That was the only thing I liked about that. Movie. Yeah, and even that, he was so out of place. Like <laughs> he, he, it was, it was like it would be like it would be like putting fucking Tony Soprano in Smash Brothers. Like it felt, it felt so fucking. I feel like it isn't that out, out of, place, of pocket. Why don't they do funny. that though? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you would finally get me to get on Team Nintendo if they put fucking Tony Soprano and Smash Bros. Oh my I'd god, like, we didn't I'm talk gonna... about that fucking horrible, 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 horrible Nintendo Direct, bro. I didn't even see that it. Shit what what was happened? Ter- yeah. Nothing. They're they're oh, releasing okay, well, the, right. the Paper Mario for the 2DS <laughs> now. I mean, but wasn't that the same thing for a fucking the the uh, the 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 state of play? Like, the state of play, I the state of play was all right, honestly. bro. That's it. What, Dude, that's, this this new one they, showed then, nothing. It was just like here's I, eight I RPGs. Like. No one's gonna play <laughs> again. <laughs> that's <laughs> again. what I felt like. I was like, wait a minute. They showed me a ton of Spider Man before. I was already like, well, I'm not even personally. I'm not excited about it because I forgot that it's a PS5 exclusive, and I've yeah. been. Uh-huh. I was oh, like, yeah, yeah. I had no reason to buy a PS5 yet because. Really, the graphics weren't that much of a difference when I, I I saw like PS5 versus PS4 playing God of War. I'm like, that's not that's not enough for me to get PS5. Um, I do want to play Demon Souls. I but I, it's been that long. Demon Souls is gorgeous, man. Yo, Dude, it, it's that's been, a gorgeous looking game. It's been game. so long that, that so I, it's past. It's ridiculous to me. Like I played Demon Dude, Souls that's what I'm so long ago. Like, I was like, I forgot it. I came was out. like. I, that's but that's how I felt. Like I was so like I just I got over that itch to like okay I need a PS5 but they're hard to get. And then it so long past. I'm like, I it's I can play it fucking years to come. It's fine, <laughs> dude. It'll be on, dude. It, it will literally by the time the PS5 comes out with like a pro model or like this one. If the PS5 comes out with a pro model and this one goes down in price, by that time Spider-Man Two might be on PC. Oh uh, right, that's, that's so what like, I'm hoping for. Yeah, 
Yeah, so um, you don't. You I kind of, really for some it. reason, and my dumb ass just thought it was gonna be on PC because th- th- since the 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 first one's on PC now, I just my brain just w- brain farted no. and I forgot that it was a no. PS4 exclusive. I forgot about. Yeah, that. that's yeah. Microsoft is the one that does that. Yeah, I was they, like, oh they, great, they I can't it. even play it. I I just <laughs> that was like, only on PS5. I was like, oh yeah, right. Yeah, Shit. but I just I don't anyway, know. Anyway, I, I don't know. I just wish I, I, Nintendo's completely. Like, people are like they're obviously winding down because they have a new console coming out next year. It's like then don't present. Wait, show us your new console. Did they, uh, <laughs> Wait, did they? Uh, is is it's, that confirmed that they're they're showing? No, new it's not confirmed. Year? It's it's believed, it's speculated <laughs> heavily. It's not confirmed. Okay. I very much so believe next year they'll be like, we have nothing again. And people will be like, well, well it's <laughs> fine. It's fine. The, the new Pokemon game comes well, out in a year, be... and it's going to be not finished. <laughs> but that new Mario <laughs> looks pretty cool. Wonder looks cool. Yeah, that's cool. Super Mario RPG looks cool. I, just... I like playing that game when I was seven. Mm. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know, that's the, dope. I'll, look at, I will the get, new, I'll, the other I'll get Mario looks I had, cool. I like playing that game when I was 14. I had to switch for a minute, and then I got... I'm sorry. I got to switch for a minute, and then I, I got rid of it. And then... um, But I'll come back. If they... I know they won't do this, but if they, at some point, uh, have a remade <coughs> version of Mario 64, I would, I would come... I would come back, because that's really the only thing that I want from uh, Nintendo... I would love for that game to just—I I don't know. To me, it—it it makes. They're never going to do it. I know they're not going to. They're never going to do it. It's just they're never going to touch that. It Nine doesn't they need make to. sense. Why? It's it's why what what's going on with why wouldn't they though? Like what why what is what's going on with Nintendo? You know what I think it is. You what, know what I think it is. Yeah. I think it's because that game is so classic and so broken in such a very specific way, and so beloved that they're afraid to go back and fix any of it. Or really, or really uh, spruce any of it up because it might destroy what's so cool about the original, or and it won't live up to the hype of, of what the original is supposed to be. Mm. I think that's the only. Re- it, it it reminds me of like uh, almost like why Half Life Three will never come, where it's like there's there's really no point. It, it is just. I agree with the Half Life thing. Think of it like I this. Derek, think of it like this, Derek. Right. Think of it like this. Right. There's no uh-huh. reason why Nintendo. <laughs> think of it like this. Think of it like this. Think of it like this. Like think think. Th- use use a brain. Use a brain. Turn it on. You got you got you. <laughs> what happens is this, right? Nintendo has the greatest video game catalog in history. Period. We, we argue what you want, say what you want, have your own opinions. You're wrong. It's Nintendo, unfortunately. Most I'm successful, sorry. that's for sure. You can't argue that. Hundred percent. It's, it's uh, sorry. It's not as good as Tiger Electronics. You have your opinion. You might be right. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. But there's they don't. <laughs> they don't the access to the Game Boy Advance is gone. You can't access that catalog of video games. There is if there is no reason why they should not have an ability for you to be able to buy the games for the like if they released it for a week. Like one week they were like, "Hey, we're going to make all of almost all of our video um, Game Boy Advance games available." Yeah. Come buy them up, have fun, do this. They would make billions of dollars in days. Because I know personally, so the, I'd be on the there question? spending thirty five dollars per game for at least so a the good question, hour and a half. So the question, why? That's what I want to know. What are I they think, doing? I don't. I think because they're a Japanese company and the tradition of things being where they were is so important to them that they don't understand how stupid and much and money they're missing. <laughs> it just sounds so fake. It sounds so unbelievable to me. Like they wouldn't we're, have we're, people crunching numbers. Like, bruh. Because I know I, I I agree though I agree that I'm willing to give them a lot of my money, and it's like they don't want it, and I, I and that this always again because I couldn't get the games I wanted. I was forced to <laughs> buy this. Yeah. This cost me two hundred dollars. I'm so mad I paid oh the money God. I paid for this. Oh my! But God. I was forced. Yeah, to, oh man! I had to do it, and I've been using it regularly more than the Switch. In fact. Way more than my What have you been Switch. buying? Wait, what have you been using? Um, my 3DS more than my Switch. Like, buy a 3DS. huge margin. I have this. And oh, that's I have... weird. I barely use my Switch, though. Like, I, I, I've had a Switch for... I have this since, and I have I've had this. a Switch since it came out. This is how, this is how desperate I was to play these that, old games. Is I that the light? both of them. <laughs> is that the like, light? I have a the Game Boy Advance. Was... I'll just get a, what you call it. I'll get a light. Yeah, I I still have a, a SP somewhere. It's laying around somewhere. 
it's just I don't I don't know what I don't know what's going on with their brains. I don't know what's going on with their brains. I don't know what's going on with them like fiscal like they they're clearly not hurting for money. Obviously, that's, they make a Pokemon yeah. game that's half a video game, and people buy it up and act like it's the greatest thing on the planet. <laughs> Talking to people about that game yeah, was yeah. the most insane shit to me ever I've ever experienced. Because people were people were defending like it's like when people were like let's what game came out that was kind of fucked that people were defending. People were defending Cyberpunk, right? And people were uh, Cyberpunk was fucked when it first came out. It was a fucked game, right? I loved it. I loved the game, but it was a fucked video game when it came out. It was. Yeah, it, it it was a fucked video game for the majority of people. Like I. I I'm having it's the same thing with Starfield for me right now, man. Where like people are like, performance on PC is terrible. It's like it is running fucking flawlessly for me. Yeah, you're lucky. Yeah, yeah for like sure. it's it's so like and it's same thing happened with with Cyberpunk where it's like it crashed. Cyberpunk crashed once for me, and then the rest of the experience was completely bug free. Like totally, like it didn't look as pretty as it as they promised for sure. But like you know, like it, it didn't have ray tracing or whatever. But like. It was a fucking dope ass game, and I remember being like, "This is so good," and everybody's like, "Are you fucking stupid?" And like, that's <laughs> I was like, "Yo, right? what's what's going what's going on?" But then they were like, then but then the same people that were talking to them about Cyberpunk, Pokemon came out, and you're falling through the world. Your Pokemon's appearing with inside of you. You can't go into any buildings. Dude. The the shit the shit that was and it's just like you got your brains are mush. You guys are incapable of admitting the truth about Nintendo anymore. Pokemon Pokemon games, though, f- I, and I don't say this to defend them, right? Okay? I want to make that very, very clear. They have been buggy for a very, very long time. Like, the even the original Pokemon games were fucking very buggy. I it wasn't, like, as noticeable really? because 2D games are very... Yeah, dude, missing no. There were, like, there were certain chapters where you got... where it, The game would, like, crash itself, like, a lot. I don't... Like, I remember running I, into I, some I, crashes. I remember, on, I remember missing on no. On Pokemon Yellow? No, no, not Pokemon Yellow. Pokemon Red, I remember having, like... I remember that game crashing on me before I understood what crashing was. Hmm. I, I thought I, my I Game Boy was times I'd be walking and it would freeze. Definitely happened. Remember that for sure, right, right, right. But I don't remember Which is, it being but, like. But that's super like very. Buggy. It was, uh, I guess, not in comparison, right? Because the bugs now are like so. Because games are a lot more complicated now, more and so like now, the things sure. that can go wrong with them are a lot more. I, I'm not saying that to defend them. I'm just saying like they have a long history of being very, very. They've gotten buggier, I'll say, but they've always been. They've always been buggy. It's kind of like the opposite of Bethesda, where where Starfield's like the least buggy game they've ever put out, and like, and this is like this is the the most buggy game that that fucking um what is it, uh, Pokemon's ever put out. Yeah, <laughs> the bugs that were coming out of that Pokemon game, though, I remember laughing my ass off at it because they were fucking genuinely funny. The game, I was just, cracking my ass up. I, I look, dude. It's, I love the original ones. Anything, anything before, anything before the three DS era of Pokemon, I'll fucking play it. I like it. Cool games, fun, but the amount that people are able to like just completely negate like quality and then say other games are bad, it's like, dude, you play Nintendo games religiously. You gotta understand that, like, you know, come on, You're, they'll never make a they'll never make a Skyrim level game. They can't. They don't know how. They got Zelda. <laughs> Zelda's fun. That's cool. You know, they made it again. <laughs> that was cool. What, like I have no I have, I, There's nothing they're making That I look forward to at all Period Same thing with Sony as well Very yeah. much so true Sony as well But I have no Like after Spider-Man I might sell my PS5 Cause they What else do they got after that yeah. What's coming after that Like Well I mean that's God of War Trace's right? Revenge I don't know like, What the fuck <laughs> you play video. You, you play. You play video games. You know what I mean. You, yeah. you, they're going to. There's also Wolverine on the horizon as well. Yeah. What is that? Two years from now? No. I think it's. I think it's next year. Next you think year? it's next I year? Think, I don't think next year. I think so. I think Insomniac. Listen. They do. They do. Insomniac they do is fast. unreasonable with like how they how quickly they get shit out. They put two games out within like five months of each other at the beginning of the PS5 generation and they're already Spider-Man 2 is already out they're working quicker than every other fucking studio and so I, I do think it's possible that it's it's at the very least if not next year probably obviously early early the year after but mm. I think they're I don't know man I think people are getting a little too fucking weird about it it's like dude, dude, uh, well, there's nothing on the horizon for Sony and it's like there is they'll show it when they've got like a a lot of stuff to show and they'll also show it when you know i would imagine after spider-man there's going to be a showcase i, I don't think they like to cannibalize 
Um, what else are they be I don't think they're like, oh, Spider Man's out. Jack what else are they make? We don't know. That's what's interesting. The Last of Us Part Three. No, nobody. Nobody. Joel's I, well, Revenge. The, Ghost of Tsushima. I know they're doing another one of those, but aside from that, we don't really know. I want Joel's the Last Revenge. of Us. Yeah, like, that's all I want. Joel's Revenge. Yeah. Joel. Joel comes back. That'd be so Joel's sick. Head's he just Revenge. pops out of the ground or wherever they buried him. You know, he's like throw him in the dumpster or whatever. He pops out of it and shit with the golf yeah, clubs on his head, <laughs> and he's just like. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I I don't really use my PS5 that much at all. I like the, the Xbox is my main thing, and then PC is the second one afterwards. Mm. Um, but I have the PS5 because I know there's I know there's going to be must play shit there, and especially for the show, uh, it just helps to be there on day one. But um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. We didn't answer this question at all. But like, thanks, what thanks the for your writing. Was- <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. I don't even remember what the question was, and I lost it. So yeah. thank you, sir or ma'am. I think. Oh yeah, the de- dedicated slur button would would be a great addition. If you, if there's a button for uh for Miles where if you press triangle he says the n word. Oh, it'd be great. Shit, I'd break my triangle. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, <laughs> the triangle would the, the triangle would be gone. <laughs> like it would be it would be like rubbed off. Yeah, yeah just, um, it would just be right. in. Let's see. Let's see. It'll be stuck in the controller. Uh, authentic Shaggy. It. Authentic Shaggy wrote in. He says, hello, my three little weekly ba- baby boys. A uh, long time set dressing, sure. first time being a side character. Have you guys seen the sheer amount of music coming out this fall? There's hundreds of hours of anticipated music just on the horizon. Also, probably a fair amount of trash. Uh, also, there are... S- are there seasons preferred for music releases? I summer summer blockbuster. I don't know. I've been so clued in on video games that like every other entertainment medium is just like completely snuck by me like i i don't know like outside of like barbie and oppenheimer (laughs) like in in, in, like i i am not paying attention to movies at all i am not paying attention to music even slightly yeah i don't know what the fuck is on the horizon at all music's Um, been too overwhelming uh even where i was gonna give i was gonna give my shot at because there was uh people that were like oh you should there's a whole meta going where people are just like jamming along to like music kind of in a reaction way. And I'm like, all right, I, I did it a few times and I was like, oh, let me give let me give this a shot. Like, I'll it'll it'll be fun. And there is shit coming out all the time. And I'm like, ah, fuck this. <laughs> it's like I'm not like it, it's if you don't you know, if, if you're not caught up with it, then no one gives a shit. Like if it's already days later. And yeah, there if, was so <laughs> it's crazy. I was like, God damn, there's so much music coming out. Look, well, me actually paying attention. And I was I was I just fell behind. I'm like, I'm good. I'm just gonna listen and whatever <laughs> and not just enjoy yeah, music. Dude. How for me it's like I've I've gotten to the point where I listen to so much straight like I've I've gotten to like really into old like nineties music. Like yeah. Gypsy Queen and shit like that. Like I've just been like on that shit or like Brazilian like funk music. And it's like really simple beats that people are just dancing around to. And I'm like, I don't even listen to good like I don't listen to good hip hop anymore. I listen to garbage. And I'm like, shit, dude. I gotta like <laughs> cleanse my palate. I gotta go back to New York for a little while. I listen to music and like my home my homies and then come back and be like, all right, I understand good rap music again. But for I feel like, like, a part of getting music, older, man. like I've been really into um so I listen to Black Sabbath again for some reason because when I was young I listened to them a little bit and like I listened to Black Sabbath and Grateful Dead because of my I think my uncles they like that shit probably yeah and mm. now, sounds like, sounds like a, a an uncle thing yeah because yeah. one of my uncles was a nerd he liked <laughs> fucking weird he liked D and D back when it was like people thought you were the devil liking it and I was just like all right I guess I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. listen to this shit and I would just watch listen to him and I'm like this music is strange and angry but like I'm seven so like whatever I'll fuck with it and now I'm listening to it again I'm like oh this music is weird as shit. I'll still listen to it. And Lily hates it. Yeah. She listens to like Bad Bunny and shit. That's so, so it's like her, her her ears are bleeding <laughs> listening to the shit I've been listening to lately. Bleeding. <laughs> Dude, my, my my music my music consumption has been so fucked lately. It's I, I, I don't even know how to I've been delving into like Deftones. I've been delving into Chica, mm. who uh, I feel like is Chica. relatively new. like I, I just there's a new album she came out with recently that I really like. Um and, and just like I don't know, like metric. I I, I was listening to Roxette <laughs> a little bit, which is like very specific. Uh, but I don't know, man. I, I I if 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 I open Spotify and it tells me that a new release is out for something that it thinks I'm interested in, that is the only way I'm gonna find out about it. Yeah. Like I have no 
tethers to like a music community. Like my friends aren't really musical. Like they are musical people, but like not in like the new sense. Like they're very much like every time we get together, we just listen to like old stuff. Right. And it's usually old stuff that we like either have on rotation or just stuff that we've genuinely never heard before that's fucking old. And we're like, how do we not hear this? I can't but, stand listening to music with our friend group, actually. It's the same kind of music every time. <laughs> and it makes me cr- like it's good music. It's very so like you listen to like very like like nineties dance music and that era of music is amazing. It is great music coming out that is just good to listen to, but we listen to it all the time and it drives me mad. Like I get crazy. Like, I can't do <laughs> this again. That's I why I that's why I go to th- that's why I go to throw in insane shit like either like Japanese breakfast and stuff. <laughs> and just try and like <laughs> try and like spruce it up a bit, but. I was listening. I was listening to because I was trying to like. I was looking at some of the playlists that I have on Spotify, and I was like, I have a, a high school playlist that's just like all the stuff that I, I would listen to as like a kid or stuff that was on the radio when I was a kid, just to get that vibe. And I was like, I gotta flesh this out a little bit more. And I found a song that I can't. I totally fucking. So right now, like the most the most recent additions are like a lot of. It's a lot of Daughtry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah. fucking. It's Daughtry, and I found this song that I can't believe I totally forgot about. Fucking Liz Fair. Do you know do you know Liz Fair? No. Uh it sounds familiar, but I'm not sure. Why can't I breathe whenever I talk about you? It's it's like I haven't dude, heard that song me- since I was a child. That's what I'm st- dude, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I heard it and I was like, fuck, this reminds me of like a very specific moment when I was a kid when I was like eating fucking brownies in Yonkers. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, this is definitely going in here. Uh it, but it's it's all just like memory trigger music it's just like oh this is uh, i haven't listened to these songs since i was a child so like when i listen to them again it's like oh it brings me back to this point you're everywhere but i would never fucking like yeah, like fucking go, yeah you're Lucy, everywhere she, uh, hates she hates that song and i'm like why don't you like this song who? it's a good song she doesn't like how can you hate a, she, doesn't, she doesn't like the song at really? all like she has no she's fucking insane she has no attachment to it and I'm like, how do you not like Michelle Branch? Like, she's the song is great. I think I, I don't know. I think she should be shot. Let's move on. Uh, <laughs> she should be shot. <laughs> Someone should gun her down. Uh, all right, let's let's get a handful. We spent uh, a long time on on one of those. Yeah. So let's yeah. try and get. Uh, how are you feeling about three more? All right. Yeah. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not answering. That. I'm not asking that question. I'll. Re- you know what? I'll read it. I'm not answering this. White guy d- uh, dangerously close to accidentally saying the n word because of this podcast. Nice. Be careful, guys. Be careful. Uh, he wrote in, he says, hey, crabs, uh, what's the most embarrassing piece of non-porn you've jerked off to? For me, it was an episode of Big Bang Theory when I was 14. Wow. <laughs> Good time. That's crazy. Wow. I've definitely. I mean, uh, what is, I, what's sexy in that show? Oh, man. I don't know, I, man. I can tell you guys, but you guys will never, I, I'll never live it down. So I can't, I don't, I will never live it down. So let's just keep that in silence. It's a safe space. I want, a safe you, to space, under, I want you guys to understand it is fucking hilarious, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you guys. It is, you guys would no, come howl. On. I swear if you guys bring it out. Then, then fucking say it. It would be good for the show. If somebody I, I, reveals. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you, I'll say it. I'll say it if you say it. I, okay. And that's a promise. I, I you have my word. You have my word. If you it. say it, if you say it, I'll say it. So no, no, no. You have to go first. Okay. So there is. Um... <laughs> is this going to sound crazy? Because I don't. I can't ease my way into this. <sighs> there is a point. I can't even. This is gonna sound so wild. There's a point in Alvin and Chipmunks where there is a really hot girl with no bra on in the Alvin and Chipmunks live action movie <laughs> that, that, that I jacked That's off awesome. to. And I look back at that moment, and every time I look back at that moment, I feel like such a barbarian. I hate. I hate the person I was and am because of that. And, it's, ah, but, and, and, and what happens is that during the scene, it goes to the chipmunks, and I'm like, oh man, he's a fucking chipmunks, and I have the weight and then it just prolongs the process even more and i'm like this is the most (laughs) terrible just fucking edging it was such a bad fucking thing let's hear let's hear yours chris that's pretty cool i like that (laughs) one it's so embarrassing (sighs) dude that's pretty Man. cool. I like that. <laughs> that's so. That is it's a good answer. That is that is really that is really it's horrible. That's a pretty good answer. <laughs> I I don't know if I could I don't know if I could top that to be honest. I think so. 
I'm trying to remember. There's there's like a few of them that I know is. Re- oh no! You ever jump off no. to a really curvy tree? <laughs> no. I, so. <laughs> God damn it. Sounds like some like it was just it was it was <laughs> I don't remember what episode it was. Some hot but it was some episode <laughs> It was some episode of Modern Family. Uh and it, it was I, it was Sofia Vergara, but I don't remember I don't remember what the fuck I don't remember what it was. I don't remember the the exact instance because I never went back to it at a certain you point because I realized I could show. just look up like, whatever oh, I the fuck I wanted. Anymore. I can't touch. Well, this no, anymore. I just I could just like oh I could I could just Google porn. This is ridiculous. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, th- yeah, that might that might be it. I, I don't remember what episode. I wish I could, but the, that's the, the moment, that's the one that comes to mind anyway. I'm sure there were I'm sure there were a lot of other ones. The moment you realize that I, I, I'm Google blanking porn, from bro, my memory, you're like oh wait, all of this other magazines and attractive whistles. And curvaceous fire hydrants. These mean nothing to me now. Curvaceous I can fire. watch real pornography. <laughs> yeah, I that's I was um I was trying to rack my memory and I've never had I've never done anything like that that wasn't um or adjacent to porn. Like say the closest thing was uh, my mom, she has uh she would ha- buy these sports illustrated uh swimsuit editions. Mm-hmm. And like those are like they're but they're adjacent though, right? But it's not Yeah, they are adjacent. So I guess. like that would be but other than that, I always, you know, even though it was fucking dial up, man, I don't give a fuck. I'd get up uh, late at night, download some shit, burn it on a disc and have this fucking pimp ass disc is full of way too much shit. To one point way that like I gra- thought That's back when porn was bro, way more graphic too. So you were getting was, uh, I had a lot of uh my my favorite when I was, I was uh, like uh, in middle school was was like uh, sorority type shit. It was like call it because you know that was the fantasy. Like, oh man, I'm fucking fuck all these girls. <laughs> and so it would be like, oh, clearly some chick that's not in college, but that's just the the the, the title. <laughs> you know, it's like that barely eighteen shit when they clearly they're like thirty or whatever. It's just, they're just saying oh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. That woman they just got say whatever. Not, that woman has <laughs> mother areolas, dude. What did she do? Yeah, that's bro, her, fucking, yeah, dude, her nipples dude. are blown out for being sucked on. Like, like dude, that. I <laughs> I used to know, dude. I used to know exactly do you remember those girls gone wild ads on, yes. on comedy oh my central, God, on comedy central shit, exactly dun, dun, dun. 145 dude, I knew exactly 145 a.m bro 145 a.m dude 140 145 a.m or, or something like that where yeah, i was for like me was I, ten, I, for me it was 10 o'clock yeah 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 and i remember i remember being like i know it's coming and i would just wait i would just i would wait and they would like they would be like you get like a minute and thir- minute and a half you get like a minute and a half max so it like you really had to be quick about it you gotta, you gotta use but you gotta use your time it was so right, man. funny dude i um dude I, I, I had it down to the fucking minute nice, down to the fucking dude. minute i knew exactly <laughs> when they would show up so fucking funny my but <laughs> my uncle my uncle is, i don't know why it's you know like it because it, it's a weird thing right um all it, it's like all uncles i've been like why is it always the uncle that's the pervert even though like you you, you don't turn into an uncle there's a cr- criteria to turn into an uncle but why is it when there's like a degenerate in the family it's always the uncle and what I mean because by that boys is boys are degenerates even, in general. My, yeah, yeah, yeah. So is it is it just every guy? And then I when think he it's be- I think it's also because the word uncle is just such a fucking silly sounding. Like like in comparison that to that everything un- else, <laughs> that's my uncle. Like, over there. Yeah, they're, they're, that's my uncle. The fuck? Like say, look at like my it's- my my dad before he passed. Uh, I don't think he was that guy, and he probably was an uncle to one of his brothers or something. Well, but, everybody's an uncle to someone. That's yeah, the thing. But isn't then, it? like, but he wasn't. He wasn't the guy. But then, my on my uh, my my dad's uh, uh, one of his brothers. He uh, b- became that guy. He was the uncle, and so he was the big. He was the biggest degenerate ever. Where his he didn't even try to hide his porn or anything. There was a gun next to his porn that was I easily had access to. A and gun. Uh, there was I a, a shot. I a shot definitely porn. played one of my uncle's guns before. <laughs> I definitely it didn't have a clip in it. It didn't have a clip in it. But I definitely one time because I was like, why did I get a beating? I was like, I was trying to reflect on why I got a beating one time. And my grandmother <laughs> filled me in on a story. I definitely went in my uncle's room, dug through, tried to find some of his comic books, 
found a gun, came out. I was like, Grandma, look what I got. She was like, oh, no, <laughs> no. He will pull the trigger and not have a clue why anything went wrong. She got it from me, <laughs> beat my ass, and I was just sitting in my room like, wait, what did I do this you time? You got your ass beat, and you didn't even know what you like, did. What, That's fucked what up. did I do? She scolded me, right? She scolded when I do wrong thing. Me no do wrong thing now. Me just wave toy in air. <laughs> you just wave toy. Yeah, that's yeah. so fucking crazy. Uh, what yeah, wrong but yeah, my, I do? I had a lot. Of, I had a lot of good do? material. I had a lot of good material with my uncle. I just say that. Like it, 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 the last thing I was saying, move on. Just we're sitting down watching Comedy Central or something or whatever. We're bored, so he starts flipping the channels, and this fucking guy, he knows. I know I'm a dumb kid. So he paid for some of the f- spicy channels, right? Yeah. And so he's flipping, and he's pretending that he's flipping arbitrarily, but then it goes to, like, some of the porn. And I remember this blonde chick with huge titties rubbing them and moaning, and he's looking at me like he's all surprised that he flipped on it, where clearly you have to go to the high channels. You know, I got older, and I'm like, what a fucking pervert. I am a kid, and he's like, oh, I'm going to show this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to awaken this motherfucker. And he's just flipping through porn channels, and, like, there's some chick just grabbing her titties looking like she just can't take it anymore like she just wants you so badly and i'm she looking at the screen like down the path bro he tried to this sit you down the path not, of darkness bro it's cr- in hindsight i'm like i wouldn't do <laughs> i wouldn't do that to my nephew what's so weird like, right now is I'm, such, I'm the uncle i'm like the um i'm like the everyone comes to talk to me because i'm like the emotionally intelligent uncle in my family, like my niece, whatever, she's like That's having crazy. really hard trouble, or like the cousin. It's That's insane. A wild, that's, a, that's a wild. That is a wild family, man. It's <laughs> holy it's, shit, dude. My family's the only person that was normal. The only person that was normal was my grandma, but she was normal by other people's standards. She was still crazy, but she right. was like, <laughs> she yeah. appeared. She she played normal well. She was like, oh, I, I present as a regular person. But yeah. now, like talking to like my niece and my niece being like. Uncle Kingston, I really appreciate you being there to talk to about crazy stuff. You're very like upstanding, and I'm like, Brianna, I I tried to fuck Ben Gay more than once. You, you, I'm not, I'm not an upstanding person at all. I'm a piece of shit. But in her mind, I'm like a good uncle. It's so insane thinking, like when when Lily met them and how much they loved me and how much they like really looked up to me. And they're like, do you, do, they, do they know who you are? And I'm like, nah, they don't. They have no clue the kind of person. Okay. That really yeah, that's the only way that people can. That's the only way that people can look up to you is if they don't know who you are. Really, everybody's everybody's like I, I remember. Say, it's funny too because like I remember seeing. Do you guys remember that sentiment of like? Uh, I, I guess it's not like a like a a dead sentiment. It's probably just like a generalized kind of saying at this point. But it's like never meet your heroes. Yeah, you know, or yeah. like the idea of it's like oh, if you meet them, they'll disappoint you. And it's like, yeah, I feel like it's the opposite. I feel like everybody should meet their heroes because it it just sort of like oh, they're people, right. It's exactly what should be happening, in fact. It's exa- it's exactly how people should react to meeting people that they admire. It's like, oh, you're just a person. Cool. As opposed to just, like, putting them on, like, this weird pedestal. I always feel... I remember I felt weird for so long going back home and, like, my nephews and, and my nieces would be like, oh, man, Chris is here, the star. And it's like, <laughs> you don't even understand... I'm a fuck-up kid. You don't even understand. I'm a fuck-up kid. You have... <laughs> like, do better. <laughs> Yeah, do you significantly better. Like you have a crippling poor uh, addiction too? Wow. That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I thought I was alone. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, you have 10,000 bookmarks as well? <laughs> Dude, we were, talking about, we were talking about the bookmarks and everybody thought we were crazy. I thought it was insane that people didn't have bookmark porn. We were talking about, were you there for that? You were, right? <laughs> were about, I, was I wasn't like, there for that. Oh my God. We were talking about bookmark porn. What are you everybody talking was about? looking at me like I was some sort of fucking alien. And I was like, you guys don't have bookmarks? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? Lily was like, I use your computer. I've never seen bookmarks again. Like, yeah, you'll never find. You'll have to go through so much shit to find those bookmarks, girl. I'll definitely be home before you find them. I will Dude, I have fake folders. I have I have fake folders on top of fake folders on top of fake folders. That's I got folders. Never, I got you'll folders never that lead you to a picture of a fuck you sign. Like, ha, ha, you're not gonna get them. You're trying. <laughs> <laughs> you're almost, almost. That's so That's fucking. I, That's so I insane. Used to, I used to that. The, the, the good. The, um, I don't. I'm pr- I'm pretty uh every everything is just if you re- if you truly don't want to trace you just it, everything stays online everything is online man everything is there just everything is uh private. yeah I just don't care yeah I, I I I've I've stopped caring about how private something like you know it's like whatever like 
Like I, I'm not watching device. crazy shit. Yeah, I, like, I never, that's the whole thing. I was like, never. Wa- yeah, there was never anything like say. I always think of it this way: if I died, would I be content with like? You know, it doesn't matter if I'm content. I'm dead. But you know, meaning like say right now, I'm just thinking: w- was there anything I'd be like, holy shit! Like they might find this, and I'm like, nah, I don't have anything like that. So the funniest, um, yeah, the, I don't the have most anything. wild thing I've ever looked up on my on a computer of mine was Mr. Hands, and I didn't look at it for fucking sexual purposes. I looked at it to hear the sound he made when that horse put his dick in him. And he was like, <laughs> And immediately I was like, oh, that guy's going to die. I was like, that guy yeah, he's gone. is dead. This is really unfortunate. I'm watching someone die. But so it was funny. so f- I, I've never laughed like that in my life, dude. I, was I once got malware tapping. on my <laughs> I once got malware on my computer when I was a kid <laughs> and it was like uh it installed some like naked chick on the front of the desktop and if you clicked her pussy it would moan and I was like oh no I, I was like I, what do I do <laughs> I was like I hated those you fucking back to reset that, that no, whole really, bitch really, bro you had to reset no, that entire honestly, bitch Dude honestly for real imagine for just a brief moment having that installed on purpose like that was something that people would like people would make that for the purpose of like people would install that shit on their computer like have like a naked woman straddling the fucking task bar (laughs) that is so fucking insane primitive bro bro i was terrified because that was the family computer oh my god how do i get rid of this this was before i like knew how to like search through even even (laughs) even on your personal computer having that is so fucking overkill yeah yeah yeah. that's so outrageous it's barbaric bro (laughs) it's like it's like what is wrong like you don't deserve anything it's pretty crazy it's fucking barbarism, man, because it's not hot. She's just t- it's just this awkward. It's this awkward, tiny, naked lady, fucking the size of like barely your phone. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, no, man. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> anyway, let's yeah, let's, let's get this go. one. A uh, uh, couple more. <laughs> Shut yeah, the yeah, fuck yeah. up, dude. Benjamin Aaron Shapiro wrote, and he says, Hello, uh, my gay little fantasies. Long time listener, third time question asker. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, with that out of the way, hypothetically speaking, if you were to be kidnapped by Nintendo and they wouldn't let you go unless you gave them three, uh, unless you three gave them four characters to add to Super Smash Brothers, who would you add? I love this question. Dante. So I love this question. Four between us? or, or- no, Well, um... No, I mean that would make sense. So I, I guess like if we could add, let's just let's just let's simplify it, and we each get one, right? Let's do like three for each of, or uh, not three for each of us, but one for each of us. Okay. Who are we adding? Scorpion. From Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Okay. That's that's pretty boring. Um, yeah. Well, I, we were talking about him earlier. I think we, I think I got to go with Tony Soprano for sure. Got to go Tony Soprano yeah. easily. We got to get, we got to get Tony Soprano in <laughs> Tony there. Tony Soprano. And I would say, I would say, I would add um, uh, Flo from Progressive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she'd be bad. I mean, that'd be that'd be, be, be so bitch. fucking cool. Put her in that zero suit yeah. armor. Oh, dude, dope. zero oh, zero know, suit oh, Flo from, oh, okay, from sorry, fucking sorry, Progressive. Sorry, yeah. uh, my apologies. It maybe maybe be... get maybe get like an maybe get Aaron Insurance in there. <laughs> for me, it would be Paul Smack Will Smith. Like Will Smith walking away, the Will Smith, the being of Will Smith walking away after he smacked Chris Rock, when he was at his most that's, powerful. Yeah, that's a dangerous Will Smith. I was like, all right, nice. <laughs> that's, that's dangerous. Nice. He would fucking tear somebody up. His spike right, would be you crazy. Know what, you know, Tony Soprano would be good, but I got, I got, I've been watching. Um, I watched a YouTube poop last night of uh, uh Breaking Bad, and uh, it's it's great. It's uh, so I got to put in Mike Armentrout for sure. He's uh, <laughs> dude. There's a fucking YouTube poop where he's just. It it literally consists of this abusing his granddaughter and uh, like 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 just yelling at her and just being the biggest piece of shit and them having a standoff with guns and then him refusing Walter White like the entire time. Walter White just wants to have sex with Mike so badly and he just constantly refusing him and it's like ten no. minutes long. <laughs> it's, it's like ten minutes. It's such a it's such a I good love, fucking YouTube poop. Uh, I love fe- I love feature length YouTube poops. Yeah. Like oh, like that's Walter. such a. <laughs> it's just like it's it's it was um a JoJo fucking Damn stumbled it. upon it. I walked into my room with her watching it, and I was gonna go to my PC, but then I stopped and watched the whole thing. Yeah, it was really good. So yeah, Mike so Armitrout would, would be great. Okay, okay. So Mike Armitrout. Um, I would also suggest maybe ET. <laughs> 
<laughs> and him getting hit just makes the like, ah, like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> so I love that what sound, did, man. What did fucking uh, what's his name say? Et stand for Ernest Turnus? <laughs> what was it? Again? Yeah, Ernest Turnus. <laughs> was that? That was Jack's film. I think I think Jack's films. When I asked what is what is Et's real name, <laughs> he said Ernest <laughs> Turnus. <laughs> that is so insane. <laughs> That is such an insane thing to uh, say to you. Oh, Ernest Turner. It is such. That's badass. It's such a stupid. We gotta get. Oh, Jack. Uh, by the way, like, uh, I mean, he. I guess he, he did say this publicly on his stream, but uh, I rated him. I, I rated him on Twitch after I finished playing Starfield. He was playing something else. I think he was doing some AI stuff. He was fucking around with that. And uh, Jack's film said he would uh, he would be down to come on. So uh, yeah, we, we, we just gotta get him. <laughs> we gotta it. get. It. We have to get like a schedule. Obviously, like we're. We're probably going to start doing guest episodes more often, like, after, once the year ends. Because uh, this, this, uh, Christmas is just, like, t- it's too busy of a, t- like, that that month is too busy of a time to really do anything more than what we're already doing. Yeah, true. Um, but I think once January rolls around, we'll start trying to, we'll start getting uh, more guest episodes in. Jack would be an awesome. You guys are not ready for the conversation Jack, I'm, I'm, with Jack. I'm they're, really excited they're to have They're not ready Jack. for it, dude. We got to do it like, dude, we've been talking about this for months because he, he said he was down fucking forever ago. I know, I know, like, I know. So it's like, let's just, let's, it, let before this year's over, let's let's get Jack on. Let's do you want to do it before this year's over? I want to, let's do it because, bro, like, it's, I'm he, he do, said I'll, he, he, I'll said he was right cool. That's said, true, that's and, true, and, that's uh, true. Yeah, we should we should just do it. When, also, there is like a lot to talk about re- recently. So like, yeah, and, uh, and, with, with the Sniper Wolf and, stuff. Yeah, I want to probe him more about that. Absolutely. I wanna, <laughs> that is a good, yeah. You know what? That's not a bad idea. Yeah. That's, uh, who wants to message? Yeah. Like, you, you want to just, because like, it's really I'll, just I'll about asking him when the fuck he's available. I'll message Jack right now. Yeah, I'll send him a, I'll send him a, I'll send him a text. All right. Um, we had right. a good thing going, Walter. We had a good thing going, Walter. You had to, <laughs> you had to fuck my urethra with a big little sounding straw. A big little. I don't know why you little. had to do this. <laughs> it stings. I've been saying that for years, and it's just purely my brain just not under. It's just my brain not deciding where to settle. Big I little. Keep, I keep calling things like, "Oh, it's like a, oh, it's like a big little fucking." <laughs> it's a big little party going on. <laughs> And it's become brain, like a. You are it, not. You inability to understand the world around you, so you say big little because you're confused. I just. Ca- I, I just. I'm very indecisive. It's a big say, like, place like, to the point it's like, like, which one is it's it? A, so it's a medium sized. I've just place. gotten. I've gotten it. I've. I've gotten into the habit of of just kind of letting myself say that because it's become like a. Uh, it's become like a signature problem of mine where I just. <laughs> I'll just be like, oh, it's a big little party you got going on here, but um. I, you know what? I bit I bit this thing off my off a pen, and I've been chewing on it, and it, it reminded me of fucking being in school. Mm. I just like chew on plastic, and ingest all that plastic. Mm, I'm nice. way ahead of you, everybody. Everybody in this fucking everybody on this planet right now is so behind me. They have they have to get used to uh, all the microplastics in the rain. They're getting sick. Not me. I've been eating plastic since I was fucking ten. Yeah, you got plastic lungs now, man. I got the plastic lung. <laughs> it, nothing I, beneficial I inhale about and exhale, plastic. and it sounds. Oh my god! I have, I have, I have. Uh, every time I inhale and exhale, it sounds like a, like a like a water bottle <laughs> yeah, like being the crushed. crushed. <laughs> yeah, nice. All there's right, uh, one more. Nothing beneficial uh, about see. plastic let's lungs. There, there's you get no buffs from that. You just worse. I mean, it ain't no benefit, it's but it's just the reality. <laughs> Oh my God! What do you got, Eric John? Eric John wrote and he says, "Hey fellas, have you ever missed out on an, on uh, on anything that you had an opportunity to do or experience?" I was at the festival uh, where the Brass Against the Machine vocalist pissed on a guy, but I missed it to see oh. Cypress. I missed it to see Cypress Hill, and I haven't forgiven myself. Thanks so for the, close thanks for the last to seeing point. that. So close. That was so crazy that that happened. That's that's in my bookmarks. Yeah, that's sure. a, yeah. We <laughs> that's <laughs> forgot about a, that's that. That's a regular Ooh, we, watch. Yeah, yeah that's, we need that's, Vaseline that's, for that you shit. No, I don't need anything for that shit. That is that, that's raw. That's raw me right there. <laughs> Dude, fucking that! I couldn't believe that when I saw that. Like that was so it's fucking well. Rock first and of roll, all, baby, it's rock and roll. It, it, it was it was very rock and roll, Piss but it was also roll. like man, that might have been the moment where I was like, look, man, I I there's a certain there, it was like an angel and devil on my shoulder where it's like, <laughs> I respect that, but also, that is fuck, I'm too old for this. Ew. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
where it's like, ill, gross, I respect that. How gross. hard do you think that guy jacked off uh, when he fucking... When he he probably home. didn't even have to. He probably didn't even have to. He probably <laughs> he, he blew just, his load right there. He, he probably <laughs> gnarred. He, pro- he probably nutted I mean, through his... He probably came so hard in his pants that it flew out of his pants, hit her in the face, and just pissing on him. <laughs> now, the question yeah, yeah. is, now the question he is, like, he was narded. so bold and brazen. He, he was so bold and brazen to get up there and allow that to happen to him. Yeah. Is is that the mark of somebody who gets no action or who gets so much that he's unfazed? Um, I think it's You know what I mean? I think this was a, a this was like the I think this was the lottery for him, like the jackpot. Like I think it right, was right, it right. was he he loves watching that shit and he's always fantasized like man, I wish someone would piss on me and he literally like not only did this happen publicly in the most shameful way possible? Because you know he's into that humiliation shit. A fucking attractive woman too, like not even just some nasty fucking gargoyle lady, just like a really yeah. hot woman just pissed all over him, and he, yeah, literally nutted through his fucking his pants. Like it, it got through his, it got through his boxers and whatever else he has. He was probably sounding too. Like it got through everything. He that motherfucker come, just went up bro. there. Like it's, it's probably, yeah, after, she's, probably afterwards I, he just laid on the fucking thing. He was laid on the thing, piss, come shot through his pants, just laying there, just like I. Am yeah, she's. About to you die. know, it's, it, it is. It is a shame. It is a shame because she is. She's really pretty. Yeah, very pretty. She had an ass on uh, her too, fortunately man. for the guy, no action because she's a she's a lesbian. She uh ah. yeah she has a she has a she has a lady and um she's actually I think she's pregnant right now. So they did like a sir. Uh, they was, got somebody else's. Probably that guy. The guy that they pissed on. Probably the guy. That they pissed, <laughs> like the guy is coming. And she's right. <laughs> that is such. A, I, I still. I, I'm so glad you asked that question too because like I told. This is like a memory. I totally forgot that this happened. Yeah. He and just like came remembering so this hard is, she got pregnant. Yeah, he yeah that was actually so an inward club uh, segment, right? bro. There was a. I think the last. That might have been the last episode of the inward club we did. I, it it might have been that episode. We were <laughs> watching, watching her piss on that y'all, guy. Y'all she flooded watching, him, bro. Uh, y'all's podcast, which got me thinking. That is so rock and roll, bro. So what was the question? Was it like, what do you regret? Or what was it? What, yeah, was well, it? The, I, I just thought this, that, that just remembering that would be would be cool. But like, I, I mean, the idea, I guess, is like, have you ever had the opportunity, like retroactively, like, have you ever passed up on something only to realize that it was something that you really should have been at. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so I, um, because you I, could have experienced something cool. I definitely like decided to go home early one time with my friends, and then they ended up meeting like Method Man, and I was like, "This is so stupid. <laughs> well, this is so fucking stupid." I was like, "I was like, I don't really feel well. I'm gonna go back home." We were, we were in Harlem, and I was like yeah. maybe like 15, 16. I was like going to visit after I moved upstate, and I was just like, "Guys, I'm gonna go back to New York, the Bronx. I'm hungry. I want to just eat." And they were like, all right, cool. And then, like, they were like, guys, dude, look with the fucking horrible ass flip phones. Fucking Blackberry. No, <laughs> that fucking Method Man. And I'm like, like, yeah, Method Man came into the bodega yeah. like three minutes after you left. He probably, in fact, said, I didn't want to be around that pussy ass nigga, Kingston Jameson. And I'm like, awesome. <laughs> He's straight. Awesome. He was waiting around the corner waiting for you to leave. He was like peeking. And then as soon as you walk off, he just. M E T H O D. M E T H O D. <laughs> as soon as I walk out, thank God. Hey, oh, yeah, get I, off I, my style. You don't like me. You don't like my style. <laughs> I, right, I, I had plenty of moments like that. So, let, yeah. Last, last one, uh, and then we'll and we'll we'll we'll, we'll bump on out of here. Sure. Big Ugly Jordan wrote in. He says, "Hello, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Nice. Uh, recently, I drove two hours round trip uh, for sex. Parentheses. It was fine, I guess." And on the way back, I was listening to y'all's podcast, which got me thinking, what's the longest distance y'all have traveled just to tame some strange? Tame um, some strange. Tame some strange is such an elderly saying. I love that. Mm, it's so fucking. Friends two hours round trip, by the way, is not really that, that it's long. It's not the worst. Really, you that's, drove an that's, hour that's in one direction. But, um, <laughs> that's one hour. That's an hour. That's like nothing. It, it really depends on the uh, It really depends on the traffic situation. Because how far was it really? Like was it- Oh, yeah. Like an hour in upstate New York? That's like nothing, but like an hour in like L.A. Fuck that, because that's like that's like thirty minutes of being stopped. You know, <laughs> like no, uh, yeah, I guess that's a good point. Yeah. Um, so I drew, um, I had one of my homies drive me to Pleasant Valley from where how I how far lived, was that from where I from fifth from Fishko. So that's maybe like forty five minutes. Then I got there. Yeah. I got there. We argued. We had sex, and then we broke up. <laughs> it was the fucking most. <laughs> what? And I had to. It was such a bad. Oh my god. High college, high lake high school college relationships are so stupid, and I look back on them now, and I'm like, this is such a waste of time. I could just be getting really good at video games. 
I could have been really Stupid. perfecting my video game. That is skill. so crazy. I could have been... And I'm just, and then I like oh, I remember man. my I'm waiting outside for my friend to come pick me up. He picked me up. He was like, "How was it?" And I was like, "It was like I." And then we went home. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I mean, right. yeah. Went that's, home, and after that's... I got home, I was just like, <laughs> "Dude, I'm like fucking single." And he was like, "Dang, that's crazy." And we just dude, an hour, me. an hour is fucking. Yeah, an hour's an hour's nothing, dude. That's I, cra- I, that's a lot of time. It's bro. all been in the me. It's all been in like the vicinity. It's all like the. The, I, technically, I would say when I was in Arizona, just because I lived in a desolate city that was near nothing, so driving anywhere, like if I had to drive into Phoenix, like to go to work, that was uh, like twenty miles just on its own. So if I needed mm. to go, like it was kind of like just by default. But so it wasn't because I didn't live in the city. So it's like there was a city called Surprise that I had to drive up that was kind of far north. Uh, that's like the closest, but otherwise when I was living in California, it was nothing ever too far, but I will say <laughs> this was kind of weird where, um, I met this girl from, uh, tender and whatever we hooked up. And then I think it was the next day she was like, Hey, you want to fucking go to Sedona? And I was like, what? I guess. And I just, this random fucking broad that I just met, like we drove all the way up to, uh, you know, uh, Arizona Sedona. I'd never been there before. Because her mom had like real real estate and all this shit, so then I was just hanging out in this fucking two million dollar, fucking three million dollar house, and I was like, I do not belong here. I'm gonna get shot. Like I was like, just me being here, I feel like if some, the wrong person saw me, they'd be like, oh, clearly this person's robbing this place, and I'm gonna get shot up by the. Hey, what are you doing Sedona. over here, boy? It was the weirdest fucking thing, just from like, oh, this was supposed to be a hookup, and then <laughs> now I'm, I drove seven hours to go to this rich ass thing, and then I bought. Something at Goodwill, and then I never saw this bitch again. It was so weird. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> that's fucking wild. But hey, Sedona's boy, fucking yeah. gorgeous, over here, man. Boy. What are you doing? Sedona over here, is goddamn gorgeous. I even actually, I even, I brought my shotgun. We were shooting shit over there. It's uh, oh, I, cool. I, I would recommend going to Sedona. It's fucking gorgeous. Uh, I, I uh, otherwise uh, Arizona's a, a hellhole and should should sink. Yeah. But whatever. yeah, Arizona is <laughs> fuck. I, I I definitely wouldn't go to Arizona. Yeah, Arizona, I've been there one time, and I was. I, I wouldn't go to really Arizona massive. for. I I wouldn't I wouldn't go to Arizona for some strange. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't like. Why do people I will call say, it strange? I, it looks strange. I don't know. Strange. I don't know. It's that's just been the, 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 the term that I've. Yeah, it's like, like a very old term. It, it is some strange. I'm, I'm gonna go get some strange. I'm, I've never used it. It sounds weird. Yeah, I've never I've never used it. It's, yeah. it's way idea, before. The us. idea of proving it's like someone digs in their pants, scratches their groin. Like, let me go get some strange right now. Let me walk off. Yeah, guys balding too. Some strange. Strange. Yeah, no, no, dude. Like fucking an hour, dude. Dude, I, I flew across the country, dude. I, I flown from New. I've flown from California to New York easily. Specifically, look, like, just nah. Like look, specifically, look, you're my, bo- you're my well, boy. Well, no, well, look, hold you're on, hold on, boy, hold on, right? hold on. Yeah. Let, let me, let me, let me, let me hold on. Let yeah. me be more specific. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was specifically to do that, but it was also because, like, oh, it was around my family. It, I almost used it as like an excuse to go, like, ah, oh, I'll go see my family and I'll surprise him. But like, really, it was like. So here's the question: I mean, it's, Would it's you have done it if your family wasn't in the area? No. Yeah. See, so that doesn't necessarily count. But still, it, I mean, it I is. Mean, I it, it does kind of count. It kind of does count, but it's like I want you to fly to Louisiana where you don't have family to go smash, and then it'd be like, oh damn, you flew fucking like two thousand miles just to get some pussy. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that is. Yeah. Well, I guess. I guess that well, would I'm be different. I'm gonna say is this right. If I'm not getting some pussy that I know, I'm gonna defenestrate. Like if I can't, if I can't, like it's gotta be like I'm gonna have sex with, like I don't know, like twenty two thousand six J Lo, <laughs> and I get to do whatever I want to that bitch. <laughs> that is the only way I'm hopping on a flight for some pussy. That is the yeah. only way I'm hopping on a. Fl- to me, it's I, like, what, about like, what about like a four, what, what about like a forty? What about a, what about like a forty minute flight? What about like like Vegas? Like Vegas? Or something? I think that's nah, reasonable. Not worth it. Flying. Scares I would do it. Me. Flying scares me. I would do much. that. Like if 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 I, if, uh, if I met somebody and it was just like oh yeah you know why not it's like the furthest I feel like I would go is like maybe like yeah. No, are we uh, Washington? Washington's the furthest I think. No. The second the second the second it's like over an hour flight. You know I what I would know. do? You know I what I would that. do? Yeah. If I could get a weekend with like one of those like Lily hypothetical sweetheart before before I say this. Lily, come in here and beat him up. This real shit. This is real shit if right here. Lily, come in here and shoot him. If some of the Australian <laughs> women I've seen in my life, if I could get a week with one of them. <laughs> and I had just a place a generic, to stay in Australia. Just a, and a place just a to generic, stay in Australia. 
Yeah. You would go to Australia for an Australian woman? I would hop on a flight to Aussie land. <laughs> and, no, she, and if I got a week with that girl in a place to stay, yes. Yeah. So look at now I want to preface this because some people might be flight. <laughs> the whole, it. The, bro, I think the flight's like seventeen hours or something. <laughs> that flight is that flight is extra. Like I'm I would not. Iraq, I would absolutely. Bro, I'm gonna be. You know, it's funny too. It's it's funny too because like many 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 years ago, I was I was kind of like I had this. Um, it wasn't really a, a thing that was going on, but it was like I was flirting kind of with this like Australian girl, mm. and I remember thinking like, am I gonna, am I really gonna do this? Yes. And I thought, no, I'm not gonna go to Australia. Like I'm not doing this. No way in hell yeah. am, I, am I doing this. That's crazy. Because yeah. that flight by itself, and it's also just so embarrassing, the idea of just like, oh, my God. If, if that plane went down, <laughs> it's just like, where did Chris go? He went to go get some pussy in Australia and died. And died. He got sucked like up that, by it, a Bermuda I, Triangle or some I, shit. I would Because there's no reason. My family's not there. I, I, would, I would have no, you know what I mean? It's just, just yeah. go to Australia. That's I want to go to Australia just for the sake of going to Australia. Yeah, I would love to go to Australia go. with like with like friends. Bro, what you know if what I mean? Snark Tank, our next fucking life show. Let's just do some in wild Australia? shit, dude. Because <laughs> How I'm welcome not, do you think we would be in Australia? I've actually been looking at stuff for a live show. No cap. And we're not going to Australia. I'm telling you guys that right now. I think. No, I think. No, we're not I know from what I know of Australians and the type of humor and the gutter mouse that they have, I think they would welcome us. With dude, they would open love us. Arms, dude, we 100%. would be superstars in Australia. I, Let's fucking go. One hundred percent. Let's do it, no. dude. I'm one thousand percent down. Let's li- we'll link up with uh, Louis Spears and some some. I know actually a lot of Australia. Weird, if we, weirdly, if I know we, a lot we, of Australian no, content if we creators. Went, if we did a, co- a combined show with Louis Spears. We like, would get canceled. <laughs> we would not absolutely get canceled. There's, no, there's be, no such thing. Like, there would be no reason for us to do that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying, like, you know, it, it, I don't know, man. Australia could be cool. I, I would I only think, go to those places with, with like, you guys or, like, friends. You 100%. Know what I mean? like, you, I look, same thing with Japan. I feel the same way about Japan. Like, I'm not going to Japan alone. Like, I'm going to Japan with, like, my boys right. or, 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 you know. I think I'm going we to should Japan legitimately. Next year. I put my mind to it. I've severed it. I'm doing it next year. So, uh, when are you going? So are we. Uh, probably around the time of my birthday. So are we. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go at the same time. So the time of my birthday. Crash I'm going fucking, to Japan. Ever, I got I to gotta at least right, see yeah. the place. I'm going, no, Let's go to Japan. No, actually, I literally, like, we, we were talking about that we were going to hit Hawaii first, then we're going to go to Japan. We were talking about um, we, 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 we at Jordan's house. I brought it up, and I was like, yeah, I really want to go to Japan next year. I'm uh, going. I'm, like, without a no, doubt, No, we have to, because I was even thinking before, like, Japan explodes or something stupid happens, like, fucking Hawaii caught on fire. Hawaii, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, dude, it's, we got to go before I thought, shit happens. I really <laughs> thought, I thought I had the rest of my, I thought I had at least, like, I thought I could go to Maui in, like, when I was, like, 80. You isn't, know that, I mean? isn't that funny? Like, I, I, and now it's, like, it's gone. So it's, like, yeah, now I'm thinking, like, fuck, let's, let's, yeah. I got to, I got money. I've got, like, the ability to do it. I, I should just go to Japan. Yeah. Dustin's in Japan right now. Oh, um, yeah, you're and right. And I'm you're so, right. I'm jealous. Japan's I'm jealous sink, of him, because I'm just. And then yeah, there's so going to be go a few Gundams that are going to come out. There's going to be <laughs> we got to go before Gundam Dustin sinks. Some, some fucking kaijus and some Gundams start battling and sink the whole place. I'm like, yo, this is yeah. crazy. Dustin's going to Dustin's going to uh, put some C4 on the struts and detonate it before we can go. Can you imagine? <laughs> I love the idea that Japan is on struts. Yeah, it's on struts. <laughs> there's underwater struts in Japan. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yo, good. No one noticed right. this, dude. Let's actually. Pl- I want to like legitimately, unironically, put out in the universe in the ether. We we go extreme instead of like doing a local show. Let's fucking go to Australia and do a show. I think That's that shit really would fucking. Crazy, if, dude. T- listen, man, if we can get the if there are, if there are enough people in Australia, even if it's just like a small like maybe like two hundred, three hundred like I think venue there, place. I really think I don't are. know. I'm curious about that. Yeah, I mean, let's put some fi- I'm, I'm put some fillers out there. Put some feelers out. Yeah, if you want us to come to Australia. Let us know. Give us an that excuse to come. That would be such a wild thing for our first live show. It's in fucking Australia. That's well, it's such not our a first second. live show. It would be our first independent live yeah, show. Yeah, independent live show. That would be fucking so dope, That'd man. I want to pet so a koala insane. so bad and fucking... I want to I want to wrestle a kangaroo and shit. You want to eat out a koala and get fucking... Yeah, get, yeah get fucked by a kangaroo, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine Derek gets fucked by a kangaroo. Get sounded, get sounded by, a, by a fucking... Get sounded by a fucking uh, kangaroo. Someone God puts damn. a Joey up your dick. Bro, like fucking <laughs> Joey. I forgot that they were called Joey. <laughs> Joey. I'm fucking, All right. Yeah, I ain't fucking no koala, right. man. God damn, come on. <laughs> I ain't fucking a koala. <laughs> they, they, are, they are cute, though. Come on. That's, <laughs> that's, that's silly. Crazy, that's silly. Louis. We're joking. We're just joking. That's a little that we, too far, man. <laughs> that's a little too far. We're just kidding around. I love the idea that you prep. You had to clarify that we were joking. <laughs> 
<laughs> like after after everything that we've said on this episode, that's the line. That's it's like, the, listen, I'm not fucking a koala. That's, on, a, that's a funny little joke there, but like y'all are doing too right. so much, man. That's a koala bear. Come on, come on. This is a fucking out of pocket episode. This yeah. is a completely fucking. This is a mess of an episode. All right, let's uh, <clears throat> let's read our, read our names. Thank you. Thank you guys. All right, I keep forgetting. I gotta write myself a script and remind everybody about the fucking Patreon. Uh, right. Patreon.com slash the Snark Tank. Obviously, it's it's if you're listening this far, you're probably already a patron. But thanks a lot for your support, anyways. <laughs> we appreciate it. We're gonna read the twenty five dollar and up names uh, now. Uh, count me down. Three, two, Walter. One. Walter. Fuck face unstoppable. There goes my homo. Watch him as as he blows. Nice. Uh, Sh- Shama Shama Lama Long Schlong. I'm 44 episodes behind and catching up quickly. This is a threat. Yanti Walmartberg NDC 13 Cyphergraph oh, Professional Sink Pisser. They should put a GoPro on EDP to show what happens to him. The only Snark Tank patient to have both justifiably and verifiably shot and not killed. <laughs> shot and killed not one but two people. Uh, his balls are sweaty. D's. D's weak arse is heavy. There's semen on his sweater already. Starf is spreading. Splooge yourself by Memet Menenem. 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 Okay. All right. You. You. Said, that's good. You set it up. Uh, we will do splooge yourself by Menenem for sure. You better yeah, splooge yourself is too good. in the moment. You're blowing. You're sucking. You're about to lose. I'm about to shoot my All fucking right, let's load, not waste bro. It. Let's, let's, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's let's give it. Let's, 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 let's relax. All right. Load, load. Yeah, yeah. Adolfo, the twink lord of cum and master of manass. Lick uh, Sweeney, lick my weenies. Keith David. All their dicks are brown. All their dicks are brown. And this guy is gay. Yeah, this guy is gay. I've sucked on a cock. I've sucked on a cock. I don't know. I don't know what this is. It's running through my head, running through my head, running through my head. Is it that? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Running through my head, running through my head. No, no, that wasn't it. It was it. That was no, no, no. You, you really stuck with that for a really, really long time, despite the fact that you knew it was wrong. It's not. That's not it. It's. It's. That's not. That's not. That's not right. There's another one later on that that is that. I think. Uh. Uh. Benjamin Aaron Shapiro, come in my ass. You're drilling me. Drilling me. All I want is your ooze. I don't know what that is either. Caucasian container, the Cracker Barrel for gays. <laughs> Keith David, tinfoil tyrant, because I'm a hex girl and I'm going to put my cum on you. Uh, blackface on, putting blackface on my light bulbs. Keith David, Wraith, my dragon. Max Silhouette, Sweeney, 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 swallow up my peony. Benedict, come in here, snatch, sing, sings. And the signs, and the signs to some cock were written on the bathroom stalls, dick and balls. Uh, she pipkin on my pippa. Possum, yes, it's my real name. I tried the uh, Buffalo Wild Wings cheese curds, and they're just okay. The man who's outside your window, not you. I'm not using stilts. I'm just that tall. Domination, average clit energy. I'm black. I'm a black belt in hate speech. Star coffee. A mob. A mob of cock goblin goblin mobsters robbing Robin Williams grave. Gollum and Smeagol arguing over whether to say the n word. Transfem gremlin exposing people with lactose intolerance to 90 million rotogens of ionizing radiation. Yush, not Vin Pen. The Angelic Dungeon Master presents Game of Thrones Special Victims Unit. Craig the Canadian, Richard Fisting, declares that Craig the Canadian is dead. Oh, shit. <laughs> Maybe. It? It's your boy, Shawnee D. 9-11. Uh, two this time, it's personal. Matt Walsh is a hero of our time. Sweet baby gang for life. Ben and Jerry's funky monkey. Uh... Uh, indie butter knife on YouTube. I reckon the f- if the flash rapidly tensed and untensed his dick in bitches' mouths, it sound like a fleshy rattlesnake. Three mm. XO buying Raycons in 2020 and them shocking my ear to cease function shortly after the warranty expired. Oh, we're, we just—that's crazy. We're on to three pages of of 25. That's insane. That hasn't happened in a while. Woo! That's been a that's been a long time since that's happened. Let's go, gentlemen. <laughs> that's what that's what that's what made us raise the price in the first place. Was again, it was getting too fucking crazy. Mm. But we appreciate you guys. Holy shit! Three yeah, pages. Thank you, Walter. Uh, thanks, Walter. <laughs> Sm- uh, slurping, stroking, smoking, joking. Emoticons going like this. Morning, Alec. David. My name is Pingus Parker. I was bitten by a radioactive dinner. Dinner. <laughs> <laughs> dinner. <laughs> uh, and for over fifteen years, I've been the YouTube poop man to the tune of Hey Jude. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> uh to the Beatles. Hey dude, come over here, get on your knees and suck my penis. Nice, nice, good. Obi won't you blow me, Keith David, Guy, Abby. Uh, to the tune of killing in the name, sucking it, I'm gay. <laughs> Something funny and topical, that that hieroglyphic language that I can't fucking translate or pronounce. Uh Wage Slay five eighty eighty three, I feel gay, fuck you. The Papini Brothers Emporium tries to get Vegeta to say I swallow come on stream. Donk Donkerson, quiet quitting and queef and queer. Uh, Keith David, William Harrington, let's 
get down to bussy and defeat these puns. Oh, yeah. Uh, tell him, Steve, Dave, not a furry. I just want to fuck a wombat, a mean lesbian, John Strickland, armored whole sex, fires of rubbing cocks. Uh, God damn it. Uh, Merck's 1889. I'm such a dog. I bite at the fart bubbles in the bathtub. <laughs> the yeah, first yeah, church yeah. of Keith David <laughs> featuring the unholy choir of six unique, slightly altered clones of Keith David. The Must universe go. where Peter Parker is a Klansman. Uh, pre Roz, Blake 896. Gay Jonah Gameson, editor in chief of the Gailey Bugle. Cop shoots Pomeranian out of fear that his dick is bigger than his. Alaskan oil field trash. Texas tater salad. Peanut butter and cummy sandwich. Ew. Ew. God, uh, Sue Hulk, Tickle My Ass Hairs, Nikki Ziggy, Marcus's pronouns are he, him, and Dom's were, was, were. Love it. Jeff, JFK's head was an IED. Every time I come, it sounds like Squidward walking. Jackson DuPont, Badly Brave, Hugger Derek, Duck Cunt. Nice. Duck Cunt. <laughs> uh, Bulk, the first disciple of the fitness, Ethereum, Progerian Hunter, uh, uh, Melfus One, Warlock, Hexblade, uh, Hexblade, Warlock, Supremacist, and rounding out our list, the King, king of Haphazard. Of Haphazard, the King. The, the wonderful king of haphazard. Thank you all for listening. Yeah, uh, yeah we're yeah, two hours. I gotta say, man, we're we're hitting these we're hitting these episodes pretty well. well Thank so you so like much. We're doing a good job. The Patreon the Patreon is exploding. It's it's growing really quickly. We really really appreciate that. We want two thousand um, followers, Walter. Got to keep pushing. Yeah. We got to keep pushing. How can we afford our gold plated jet skis <laughs> if you're not gonna throw us your money? Come on! <laughs> no, two thousand two thousand patrons would be fucking insane. Be though. Fucking we're at twelve hundred. We're at twelve hundred right now. Uh, we would, uh, would you know, wild, we we man. we appreciate you guys. Yeah, no, it's it's up. It's fucking awesome. Like uh, it's, uh, this, this what's is this. What's going on? What? What'd you say? Are you crying? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> let's, <laughs> all right, let's let's end the show. <laughs> I don't even I don't even know what to make of that. <laughs> What the fuck was that? He, he broke down. Right? He broke down. <laughs> Are you crying? Oh, fuck.